But it's a whole list of you might be a child of the 80s. A child of the 80s? A lot of us grew up in the 80s. That's true. That was... <laughs> That's true. Why are you laughing at that, Sam? A lot of us grew up in the 80s. You said us. <laughs> a lot of us grew up in the 80s. You should have said a lot of you grew up in the 80s. <laughs> Not a lot of us. Uh, God. I true. was officially a teenager in the 80s. You were grown up. I was officially a teenager well, in the 80s. But well, well, the thing is that not, is not a lie. The bit is not where you, it said, were you a child yeah, of right, the 80s? Right, were you right. class, did the U.S. government classify you as an adult? Which you most certainly were not. <laughs> a child of the 80s. Yeah. I barely was. 80s. That's true. That was our uh, growing years, okay? Our, you might be a child of the 80s if years. you remember when Jordache jeans were cool. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to admit it, but if... Oh, I hate to... <laughs> Why? I can't do oh, this, no, this today. Is, Why this not? so difficult. Just that was go, funny. I can't do this today. Look, you sure you did some embarrassing things in the 80s, but those were your growing years. Yeah. You were just a boy. <laughs> your growth was stunted for a long time. Yeah. I didn't even realize that angle on this whole thing until Sam just started beating us with it. Yeah. Well, that, I didn't that... either until I started listening, and I was like, wait a minute. Because, and you know why it was? It was because Opie, on Friday when you were talking about uh, AAF, said that you guys used to pretend to be younger to relate to your audience. <laughs> and then when I put this in, and then you guys started, I was like, oh, this it's is like, it. Prime example. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah, grew my hair long, started saying dude a lot more. Uh, added some A's to words. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, fuck. Oh, no. This what, you were a teenager off. in Sweden? <laughs> <laughs> this is not going to be pleasant. Fuck me with a stick. Look to your right. Oh. It's going to get worse. Oh, yes. Ah, okay. Yeah, look who's walking down the hallway. <gasps> Bill Burr. Well, you couldn't have been older than 27, 28 here. What, in 97? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Mr. Burr? Uh, Bill Burr. Welcome to the show. Bill Burr. Good timing. Going to be on Jimmy Fallon tonight, I hear? Yes, I oh, am. Oh, that's good. Congratulations. Yes, I am. That's a good one. You, uh, this is the worst day to have. <laughs> wow. not, not for Bill. <laughs> Why? You're well, going to enjoy today, so. What did I, what did I, what well, did I walk in on we've here? done, we've done this thing called Jocktober. Over the uh, the years, and uh, oh, we take every that. October, yeah, yes. we we feature every day a sh a show that sucks and is hacky, and you know, a typical broadcast radio drivel with the hole and the you know the chick that's got to keep them all in line. Wacky morning shows. Wacky morning show. You, what done, am I explaining to you? You've been on a thousand of we, them uh, we, across the yeah. country. We've done ten. Mom, one right now. Exactly. Who's kidding? <laughs> exactly. Well, <laughs> well, you have uh, no we, idea. We always finish off by dredging up a bit of our own past. <laughs> Uh, and I, I found a, uh, a CD of one of our, uh, like our first year on, <laughs> oh, no. on WAF. This is from 1997. 97. Dude, last time I saw you guys do this, Anthony was hiding under his coat. Yeah, he was yeah, zipping yeah. up his, his winter yeah. coat over I've his face. I kind of embraced it now. And, oh, and so you're here for last time we yeah. did. No, this was years ago. Oh, okay. This is the uh, the other studio there. And yeah, you guys... we, try to, we try to kill ourselves at least once during October. This, Today's the day, so this congratulations is so to Bill bad. Burr picking today to come in. Now, what you mean? Any time. <laughs> That's all I remember you doing. <laughs> Any time. Uh, what, what we are doing here is something, a little, a little bit uh, that uh, kind of thread its way through the show that day. It was called you're a child. Uh, what is it? You're, you're a child of the eighties. You might be a child of the eighties. Might be a child of the eighties. If and how'd you come up with that one? <laughs> he got. I just, I just have. <laughs> there he goes. The first one's been thrown out by Bill. Should, should we uh, do the setup? So he yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very organic. Should we do the first track too? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. I think it's right. a good laugh at the end of the first. I think track. We, we, uh, we should. Well, it starts with this. This is the first track on the disc. Oh, it's boy. eight seconds. It might be from the eighties. If. Well, no, no, no. Child of the age. Child no, of the age. No, before we got Child. to the Which, topic, I, we just, I, I take full responsibility. I decided this was cool radio for 97. No, without a doubt, every guy and girl whizzes in the shower. Yeah. So, oh. 107.3 WAF, oh. <laughs> the only station that really rocks. Uh, see, he... he he turns the mic on, so why was he surprised that it was going out was over like, the air? I was so edgy. I'm like, oh my god, did that just <laughs> oh, go I over the air? That. I was like, <laughs> no, nah, you guys, you could see the beginnings of your, your, your next show, the next part of your career. You totally fooled me. <laughs> I like this guy. I wish I was in the studio. I could hear what they were talking about. You totally had me. If you didn't even bring it up. I still would have been waiting for that. <laughs> uh, what, what Sam brought up, though, that throughout this whole thing, we're talking about how 
the listeners and us, of course, <laughs> being children of the 80s ourselves. They said that they uh, could, <laughs> Opie and Anthony could relate to this because... We speaking to the listeners. We all grew up in the eighties. We are all children of the eighties. I'm referencing I, that I, I, Opie I, and Anthony I, did not do any growing whatsoever <laughs> not in the eighties. I, I think I was already fucking it married, <laughs> drunk. I officially driving was... past your house. Yeah, the lights are still on. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, that's that's a great fucking this call. Is, uh, I, I I was officially a teenager in the eighties. That's all I'm going to say. And I uh, I did spend uh, one half a year in high school in, in uh, yeah so the eighties so technically we were still growing up. You drove past the Dakota right before Lennon got shot. <laughs> You're not a child of the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> he stayed back a couple of years. Yeah, He's one of those guys. Slower. Yeah, you got to hear the next the next. Uh, it's, good. It's, it's a it's a good lead in. Sure, here we go. I got a cool email from, uh, I don't even know from who, actually. <laughs> I don't have that part, unfortunately. Okay. But it's a whole list of, you might be a child of the 80s. Child of the 80s? A lot of us grew up in the 80s. That's true. That was our uh, growing years, okay? Mm -hmm. You might be a child of the 80s if you remember when Jordan's jeans were cool. <laughs> I hate to admit it, but if you're a child <laughs> of the 80s... Whoa, whoa. Ever... <laughs> Go back to that laugh. Uh, uh, the laugh is terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Why is that funny? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. I'm itching my face. You didn't even think it was it's not funny. Even itchy. What? You didn't not. even think it was funny. You didn't think it was funny oh. today or no, back then. No, of course then. not. I, 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 oh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> I just, I'm laughing. <laughs> we were just always nervous that our listeners were going to find out we were older than we were. Yeah. yeah. You guys probably remember wearing Jordache jeans when older you were kids, than, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, when yeah. you were just little kids growing up in the yeah. 80s. Well, I like was a reiterating idiot, too. Like, yeah, email. Okay, email. Well, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, very, we know yeah, that. very, yeah, very yeah. Smothers Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> I wish we <we'd> smothered. <laughs> it was a format for young men. <laughs> And we were a bit older than that. <laughs> so we were trying to, like, downplay to make believe we were younger than we were. Oh. Growing up in the 80s. That's and, always a great way to start your career. Just start it off with a lie. And then, and then, and then try and build everything up on yeah, that. that. on that, the lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. never crashes back down. <laughs> Same part. I was already in radio 10 years. I was already in the classic rock stage of my career. And then... then Dude, we, you're on AAF. That's a huge station. I was at the home of rock and roll before that where we That's played it. Jethro Tull. Like, it was classic rock. And then all of a sudden, we get the call to go to Boston. Now we got to, like, play rock music for young kids. So we had to make believe we were a lot younger. Younger. In so, the middle of the 90s and when all could, that shit was out there. And, yeah. And you could hear it in these old <laughs> tapes that we were just trying to hold on and make them believe we were young. All these memories of the 80s, you actually had the memories working in radio full time as an adult. <laughs> that was your, <laughs> those are your child of the 80s memories. That's when you were growing. <laughs> the only thing I'll admit, I was officially a teenager in the 80s. That's all I'm saying today. <laughs> Dude, but I remember that period because uh, I was just old enough to feel lost when grunge music came out. Right, yeah. I was talking on my podcast, you know, they do this whole 20-year retrospective of Nevermind, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and everybody's going like, I knew, man, the second I saw that video, there was a change in the air. I, I had no clue. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I was waiting for the next Skid Row record, and I thought it was awesome. Slave to the Grind, I'm like, dude, this is even better than the fucking last one. <laughs> and all this shit, and all of a sudden, everybody's wearing flannels. Everything's just passing you by, and you're yeah, like, and I, I don't Yeah, know. that's when I officially... Oh, that's funny, I officially Officially became old, so everybody now is pissing me off. Is everybody who's even people who got into that album to say that you knew it was a moment? Yeah, shut up! I hated it, and I didn't like how Kurt look, was making fun of tap on solos in it. I'm like, this guy's a douche. That's <laughs> not a solo. <laughs> I love him now, but I'm not going to sit there like 20 years later act like I knew. And I had no knew, clue. Yeah. You were just always oh, just another band coming out. Right? Yeah. ACDC yeah. had their best album in years, Razor's Edge. Right. I was on the board. <laughs> Headbangers Ball. Let's keep it going. <laughs> I had no clue. You're right, though. Thunderstruck was off that fucking album. Fucking, yeah, it was great. And money and uh, yeah, whatever. It was Thunderstruck. <laughs> That's hilarious. That was it? That was it. That was all that was on them. That's all you needed. That's all you needed. There was a few others. But what other things would tell someone that they were a child right. of the 80s? Here's the laugh. Oh. I backed it up. <laughs> oh, no. If you remember when Jordache jeans were cool. <laughs> I hate to admit it, but if you're a child of the 80s, everyone has a picture. I think I, I think I wanted to give the impression I was like a pothead too, because I I figured the, the kids were oh, smoking yeah. the weed. You guys, I didn't I didn't include it because it wasn't part of the bit, and we didn't we've only got so much time on this show. Yeah, yeah. Lots of pot jokes. 
I'm, well, you know, the kids so yeah, were smoking the weed, and we you wanted kids, to fit in. Yeah, smoking weed, yeah, and the yeah. mics are off. And, when, yeah. Yeah. Did you guys have, like, a meeting with, like, the Mr. Carlson, and they told you that, listen, you guys have to... Or is this not just was this your own call? We your own have, radio we instincts. We used to have air check meetings. We used to yeah. have air check meetings, but we were doing our own thing. But we yeah. had to sit and. So uh, this is your guy's call. It <laughs> I makes know, it even worse. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah. that was a good chance you could have passed that off on somebody else. I thought you should have taken that opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> if we're, we're going to get beat up, we might as well just be honest. Yeah, was, this was our bit. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to admit it, but if you're a child of the '80s, everyone has a picture of them with Jordan S jeans on. Oh, <laughs> and Sassoon. Sassoon. Ooh, la la. Sassoon. <laughs> oh. uh, you might be a child of oh, the. Oh, okay, that one hurt. That one hurt. That one hurt a little. Yeah, that one stung. La -la. I didn't think I was gonna get stung on on Ooh. that, but that that stung. I, I thought it was a nice space. improv. Yeah, oh, you obviously yeah. remember the commercial. I mean, one of the things about being a good DJ is you have to know what's going on around you. I love it. <laughs> and be informed. Wow. I love this. No amp. That was great. <laughs> Bill's such a dick at this. Oh, I don't want you here. Can you leave. <laughs> I don't like you. Wow, that was bad. Yeah, I like that, that when someone mentions a commercial and someone can just do the commercial yeah, right I then felt, and there. I felt like I got hit. On that, that was one. good. Like, I felt like a, ah, yeah, fuck. You got a little, a little jab. My legs wobbled jab. a little. Yeah. I feel yeah, yeah. Now I'm, I'm hoping I could. I didn't think it was that bad. The rest. Like, I could easily listen to that again and not even feel uncomfortable. Shut up, you son. I was hoping he was being honest. Uh. <laughs> uh, you might be a child of the 80s if, in your fifth grade class picture, you're wearing an IZOD shirt with the collar up. Uh, <laughs> something tells me you had some IZODs up here. Easy. Well, did you? Hey. Honestly, no. I, I never. I can't. Hey, look out. Wait, wait, wait. Why? I, don't think, I don't think that's that, that bad. But yeah. here's why it's that bad. It's like I called him a fucking asshole or something. Yeah. yeah. Easy there, Whoa, IZOD watch shirt. Watch out. That's crazy. <laughs> you also just implied <laughs> that when you were in fifth grade, yeah. The decade was the 1980s. <laughs> yeah. And like he's saying that chi children had eyes on shirts, and you're like, well, you must have had some. Why yeah. would he? No, he didn't. No. Dude. In the fifth grade? <laughs> no, it couldn't have been. Dude. He was like 41. <laughs> yeah. he, had a, he had a fucking tie by that time. So I was applying what? That I, you were implying, I was applying that one of the years of the 80s, I was 11 years old. In the, in the, Is that what you're getting at? In the, when you were in fifth grade, that's a lot. The decade was the 1980s. <laughs> yeah, that's not no. Not even no. close. No, 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 not even close. No. That would be that you were born no. in '69. Yeah. How would you know? I was a teenager. Because 69 in the 80s. plus 11 is 80. I was a teenager in the 80s. <laughs> fucking Sam. Fuck that goddamn <laughs> Sam is pulling these fucking little tidbits so out. We're trying to have the audience. Yeah, you didn't believe have, that we could I be 11 never, years old in the 80s. Never would have figured that. You didn't have an Izod shirt when you were a kid. No. No, you had a fucking, like a village people iron on or something from, from <laughs> like 74, 75. Right. Yeah. He was too old to be an over the edge. When they made that movie, <laughs> nobody, nobody remembers that. I wouldn't say it. Wearing a Woodstock shirt that he got there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. This be, how many more tracks, this Sam? When you graduated high school, was John Bonham still alive? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, September 25th, 1980. He was not. Ooh. All right. It wasn't. If you eighty, right? Yeah, September twenty fifth. Mm -hmm. He was not alive when I. <laughs> okay, okay. Had Reagan been had Reagan been yes. shot yet? Had Gerald Ford? Yeah. <laughs> 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 We're gonna inch our way through the decade. <laughs> I know he doesn't have a lot Reagan left. Reagan was shot when I was in high school. <laughs> Stop! He, I swear to God. Was he? Yeah. Well, that yeah. happened right around the same time. It's yeah. 81, I think. That was a weird period, yeah. Let's go back to the clip. <laughs> Easy. Well, did you? Easy. Honestly, no. I, I never got into college shirts. You didn't. You will not see me in a college shirt very often. Yeah. Oh, this guy's a rock my neck and roller. Is too <laughs> <laughs> I got a scrawny little chicken neck. Uh, you might be a child of the 80s if you know by heart the words to any Weird Al Yankovic song. <laughs> That's scary. Hard to even admit to that. How about this one? The Brady Bunch movie oh, brought back. Anthony. Cool. I'm, I'm a, a hole. Look at Anthony. I'm a hole. Anthony selling that one. 
Hard to even admit to that. I'm a whore. <laughs> Paging Mr. Herman. <laughs> Mr. Herman, yeah, you man. have a phone call at the front desk. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. What a fucking team player he was. Uh, no wonder you yeah. guys got here. Let's Just hear that again. Trying. That is support right there. Wow, mean? this is brutal. Having Bill here is really the, bad. Uh, <laughs> I can't get over the pot laugh. Uh, 1997, funny I was already seven years clean from fucking <laughs> pot and coke. And I'm making believe I'm a fucking druggie. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, how how much of a psycho were you when you were wired? I never, I never really liked it. Yeah, I never liked it. I could, I could look at you. You the same way? No way. No, yeah. I never uh, fucked with that. Oh, you never even fucked with it? No, I That's never smart. tried. It. No way. Yeah, I never. No, really... I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm a, I'm a thought... bias kid. I saw him. That was the big rumor was he did it once and he oh, yeah. died. Oh, right. That's all you needed to That's, hear. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I'm not messing with that. I, I didn't like it as much as I thought I, I did. I think. Yeah. I didn't. I was I was done by eighty nine on that. Well, considering your radio career started with a lie, I don't know if I'm believing this either. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't into that. I just uh, hot. Yeah, ninety New Year's ninety. That's fucking hilarious. But you're probably too young in the eighties to smoke pot. Sure. Well, if you were eleven, yeah. just growing up, smoking candy cigarettes probably at that age. Yeah. I haven't smoked pot in twenty years. What year is this? I gotta start 21. smoking pot again. It's twenty one. It's time. Art the works any Weird Al Yankovic song. Yeesh. <laughs> That's scary. Hard to even admit to that. How about this one? The pretty much where we brought back cool memories. Cool memories. Yes. Uh, one more. You might be a child of the 80s if three words, Atari, Intellivision, and Coleco. Oh, Coleco. Coleco. Uh, Coleco. I'm yeah, sorry. I remember those. That was all we had. We didn't have computers and, you know, stuff like that growing up in the 80s. Wait, ah! up in the 80s. Wait, like what? your parents bought it for you and you didn't buy it for yourself. This is so fucking bad. You were writing code in the fucking 80s. <laughs> also, <laughs> Ron, also, current day Anthony having the ENIAC computer. <laughs> yeah. Also, current day Anthony corrected me from 1997. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that was yeah. kind of creepy. I know, that was weird. I like that Ant just repeats key phrases and key words. That's all I did. It's really funny. I had no clue what you I was doing. You sounded like there. you were fresh out of broadcasting school. Fresh I, out of broadcasting school. Fresh out. I was like, <laughs> I had no, <laughs> I had no idea why I was there, what I should be doing. It was very scary. Time. <laughs> and the very end of the clip, Ant's trying to put up this facade for everybody, where he says, "Yeah, we didn't have any of that stuff growing up." Growing up, he can't, yeah, he can't admit that. See, he, I couldn't, I couldn't really <laughs> dive into the lies. In your house is where you have growing it, not up. in your parents' house. Right. Growing up, not in the eighties. Just growing up. Growing up. When when, when was the Shut big? Shut up, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> what? When was the big watershed moment where you guys were just had a conversation? Oh, like, we remember we, we, that. We can't. Actually. We can't do this anymore. It was a drive home. Yeah, we, yeah. We always had the drive home. Conversation. It was one of the drive homes. We said, you know, fuck this shit. Let's just talk about whatever the fuck. Yeah. Well, because you you don't get the luxury of doing whatever the fuck you want. You do kind of have to listen to people until you make a name for yourself. So we were kind of. We were just playing the game, I guess. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then one day we're like, fuck this. Gives a fuck about this shit. Let's talk about whatever, you know, pops in our heads. Yeah. And, and just getting comfortable there, for me at least, getting comfortable yeah. is so important because so I important. Fuck, so important. So important. So it's important to be comfortable. Important. It's important to be comfortable. Paging Mr. Herman. <laughs> <He's a> fucking <laughs> asshole. Paging Mr. Herman. Mr. Herman, you have a telephone call at the front desk. <laughs> that was so hilarious. He's looking around. <laughs> All right, so that's it, I guess. There you go. The end of October. I don't think it was that bad. No, the end, huh? That um, was quick. Sam. I, I would think Sam would have come up with a few more clips. Yeah, that's not, that's not the end. There's several more clips, actually. Some more lengthy than others. Oh, and there's haven't... a picture of uh, Opie from the '80s, right? There. Yeah, there. I'm surprised you're not wearing an Izod shirt. <laughs> they put a baby picture of Opie up on the uh, Facebook site. Good lord! <laughs> yeah, that's me. What year? That that's got to be. That's I would say that's 79. pre 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 moon landing. <laughs> 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 Let me turn that say how to say free free? Yeah. Dude, oh. that's sixty-four. Kennedy's still alive with that one. <laughs> Look, he still has hope yeah. in his eyes. <laughs> last last time I had hope. <laughs> ONA haven't finished listening to things that were true in the eighties after some hilarity. They take some phone calls that probably aren't taped. No, I don't wouldn't think they're taped, would you? Oh, no, God. we we did live phone calls, Sam. You did? Yeah, yeah we had, we took a live phone call, Sam. Uh-huh. Huh. 
All right. Maybe the phones ring because we we got an interesting little phone topic today, Ann. Yes, we do. I got a cool email that we're adding to, actually. You might be a child of the 80s if mm. is how it goes. And, for example, uh, the phrase, where's the beef, still doubles you over with laughter. Yes. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah, I do. That was that never was like, funny. But that, was a, that was never funny. That was a long laugh for that. <laughs> I just smoked pot. <laughs> wow! You guys smoke pot out there, and you're and you're. See, I relate to you. <laughs> you're agreeing that that phrase doubles you over with laughter because exactly. you guys are children of the eighties. I want to say pothead something here. Would probably laugh at that. Teacher. I want to say something here. Mm -hmm. The original "Where's the Beef" commercials when they first came on were funny. They People were. People found them funny. Sure. It was a great... I never got uh, it. No. I never thought Where it was Where the funny. old lady walked up and yeah. just yelled, like, where's the beef? And the driving with the fucking... She's driving oh. and the lady the, was sliding, sliding in the car. It was a funny... I really did. People and did kind of you like were, those You were a little kid. Of course you found it funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, as a child of the 80s, yeah. uh, I found things like that funny and in between because... watching uh, Smurfs and sure. other cartoons from Are the you 80s. saying we're, we weren't children of the 80s, Sam? No, no. I'm agreeing. I'm, I'm listening to Are the show. You, I can are you willing to admit that I was a teenager in the 80s? You might have turned 20 in 1980, making you 19. <laughs> Dude, that baby picture is looking very Eisenhower administration. <laughs> <laughs> that is right there in the industrial uh, yeah. military complex speech. Uh, right there, yeah, yeah. When was Sam born? 1983. Jesus. So you were a child of the 80s. <laughs> I was a child of the 80s. As were all of us, I guess. I guess so. We're not that far off. He was a yeah. baby in the 80s. Yeah, yeah we're, we're in the same spectrum. <laughs> you know why you like to wear the beef? Children of the why? 80s. Because your father was drinking and you were eating doilies at that age. You had <laughs> nothing true. to eat. I had nothing to eat. <laughs> Pasta against the wall. No, that was the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe the 60s. I have no idea. Can we negotiate? That picture's great. I think when that picture was clicked of well, Opie. It's a big bun. It's a very big bun. Big fluffy bun. It's a very big fluffy bun. Where's the beef? Some hamburger places give you a lot less beef on a They're lot of They're all dead. Bun. People like Where's the beef? They're all Wendy's, broad. We serve a hamburger we modestly call the single. It was and just we... a bad line read. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the beef? Where's the beef? <laughs> They're bad, the time. awful acting, looking around. I never found it funny. I'm not trying to be a snob here. I when, never when, found it funny. Opie, when that picture was taken, right when the shutter clicked, I think at the same time, a gentleman was saying, I shall not seek, nor shall I accept <laughs> your nomination. <laughs> Dude, that's not even true, because that's like 68. There's no way. <laughs> so you Dude, that, a, that's 64. You think Ink Benign Berliner? <laughs> I think Mustang was just rolling off for the first time at the Ford company. <laughs> ah, could be. Their new car, the Ford Mustang. That was probably uh, 1970. Oh, no. <laughs> you, you got out of an Etzel. <laughs> <laughs> Go over with laughter. Yes. Uh, Remember that? Yeah, like, I do. How about this one? Uh, you might be a child of the 80s if, honestly, you remember when film critics raved that no movie could ever possibly get better special effects than those in the movie Tron. Tron! Tron! Oh, that was horrible! Oh. <laughs> I got one I just thought of. You uh, oh, no. about, uh, you know, your child of the... What were you Tron! 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 Tron. And, you, and you think it's gonna go somewhere with a bit, and then all you get is... That was horrible! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Dude, then, all this just sounds like all my early stand-up tapes were so bad. I, you, you basically you sideswipe funny. You get a little <laughs> close to it, and then you, you just keep going, yeah, and then just kind of knock off yeah. and, and hope for the Instead best going down with the road. It, right? Yeah, a little paint on the side of your car—that's all you get. Hope down the road, you, you straighten it out. And, I want to hear some of your old tapes, though. No effing, no, no way. It's no not way. easy. I, I have. Why not? Do you at least have one example you can give I, us right I, now? I get, I get enough. Uh, oh my god, dude! I I just what I was wearing. Really? I, don't, I have one I'm wearing, uh, uh, like, navy blue dockers okay, with black shoes, no belt, and then a striped shirt that's, like, uh, pea soup green and navy blue. Wow. Okay. And I have a I big, a big yeah. afro. <laughs> a big red afro. <laughs> a big afro, and I'm too afraid to take the mic out of the mic stand. So, But I'm holding on to it for dear life. <laughs> <laughs> and I have the most clever, douchey jokes you ever heard in your life, dude. They're horrible. I, I, I play it. Anybody who comes over my house, if they ever do my podcast, I'll show it to them. In that, I did it for Nick Schwartz at one time. And yeah. Just, yeah, it's just over. They're like, oh, oh my God. That bad? Oh. Uh, I got one of me bombing on local cable, like, you know, some cable access shows, like my first TV gig. 
it was. Uh, I, 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 I can't even remember the jokes. They, they yeah. were just they I, were just I, horrible. We got to see and hear that, man. I, that's a great. Uh, that's a great. Look at the velour shirt I was wearing as a young child. In that's kin- you, Anthony. That's child me of the in kindergarten. Yeah. That's my kindergarten picture. <laughs> you can see the tang on the side of your lips. That's sixty nine. <laughs> side of your mouth, I should say. Keep going. But uh, you know, your child of the eighties. If you remember uh, Ronald Reagan speaking coherently, <laughs> very good. <laughs> oh no, don't do Hello, it. Hello, AF. Who's oh, this? Yes, Tom. Tom, what do you got? Tapes. All right, you know you were born in the eighties if you think Philip Michael Thomas is a celebrity. <laughs> I got another one. I got two words for you. Quiet Riot. <laughs> <laughs> well, Philip Michael Thomas was the black dude from Miami Vice. Miami Vice. That got, that oh, got two really? big laughs out of you guys. Yeah, it was terrific. I, black dude. <laughs> <laughs> then I had to tell everyone he was the, to fucking chime in there. <laughs> then I had to tell everyone he was the black dude. Uh, you also from have Miami to... Vice. I enjoy, for instance, the transition uh, between, for some reason, you guys talking it was and then you man. answering the phone. Seamless. It was seamless. It sounds like it happened at two different times. It was seamless. I had Even skills. though it was a live call. Uh, but Michael Thomas was the black dude from Miami Vice. Miami Vice, Rico. Very good. <laughs> AF, who's this? Hey, Derek, how's it going? Good, Eric. What do you got? When wearing leather pants were cool. Very good. Wait, 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 wait. The leather pants had to have about 100 different zippers on it. Too. <laughs> yeah, the you had, you had to have the zipper uh, near the ankle. You were really cool if you had the, if you had the leather parachute pants. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, take it easy. You guys are doing a great job. Thank you. I, just, I don't know why you're it's laughing cool. at what these guys are saying. Very what? good. I don't, I yeah, very good. Very good. <laughs> 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 zoned out there what happened i don't know why you're laughing at what these people are saying like leather pants you're like yeah <laughs> <laughs> i don't pants. know why i don't know either i would never laugh at that i don't know it's 1997 but it wasn't even a joke wow. the guy wasn't even joking he was just making a point bill is that your afro there you go <laughs> oh, oh, wow. shit. you look like montgomery from fame <laughs> <laughs> where he tells ralph wow. Garcia he's in love with him that's way back college that's me uh on w-e-r-s that's the simply red guy. Yeah, I gave that one to the uh, to the Boston Globe. That's haunted me ever since. <laughs> Fuck! Wow! Damn! Is that the biggest? <laughs> that's not, it's not even funny. It's just wow! wow. No, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, we're just looking at it like oh. No, I didn't realize your hair could do that. Was that the highest you got it? Yeah, that was me and my rebel. No pussy uh, college days. <laughs> <laughs> See, Sam, cut your hair. I like my hair. You're, you're gonna, like, you're you're gonna, gonna look like back. a Bill Burr thing. You're it's, gonna look back like this, though. Horrible. Yeah, yeah, just cut it. It's time. You're gonna yeah. go. What was I thinking? Oh, when I'm doing Child of the 2000s bits. <laughs> <laughs> what a cock! he <laughs> 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 is. Uh, yeah, look at me. Oh, I got some what? hope there. There's a lot of hope. Well, the uh, the douche meter is officially pegged. Yeah, I know. The, <laughs> the fans are um, really enjoying this. You didn't like the very good, Sam? You don't like the way he said that? Very good. Very good. Very good. Not going to do it. It's almost uh, Dana Carvey there. <laughs> Will in Houston. I like how Opie laughs at the hilarious joke, then explains it. <laughs> yeah. oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, this no is important being here. This is <laughs> You're questioning your I like your, ex- oh, yeah. your so, uh, you can hear your excitement that people are actually calling in. Like it's going good. I don't care what somebody no. said. The yeah, you remember matter. salami. <laughs> <laughs> salami. <laughs> salami. <laughs> yeah, salami. Remember salami? Oh. Nobody eats that anymore. No. As long as shitty calls are still going through, they'll do this all afternoon. <laughs> and that's what we did. Oh yes. <laughs> Today we're on a little subject called, you might be a child of the 80s if. Mm. All right, let me give you an example. You might be a child of the 80s if you ever dressed to emulate a person you saw in either a Duran Duran, Madonna, or Cindy Lauper video. <laughs> Yikes. Never admit to that. Never. What? What you might I, be a child of the 80s. No, no, I don't the know to anything. The Al Yankovic lyrics, yeah, this? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> This is, oh my god, that's when my hair started turning. I don't know what to do. Uh, Shotgun to the fucking mouth would have been appropriate. <laughs> Dude, Jesus. Did you have red hair? It, my hair was very blondish when I was a kid, and that's then it turned red. like reddish brown. Holy shit. And, uh, yeah. yeah that's, that's 71. That's, the 80s. that's 1971, right there. Come on, that's in the middle of the 80s. That's, that's, the, 80s. 80s. that's, that's the official that's the, when... the Beatles just broke up. <laughs> <laughs> Let it be. You got the let it be one. Yeah, yeah. No, that's what Joshua Tree uh, came out. Yeah, that's the that's the mid eighties. Can you tell? The, uh, the caption is, "I would have thrown spaghetti at your faggoty ass too." <laughs>
But yeah, no, that's not even, I mean, the 80s are like, that's this kid is looking like, imagine what's going to happen in the 80s. <laughs> Fuck you, Sam. <laughs> That's how not a child of the 80s he is. That could be in the 80s. No, no it's way. an impossibility. <laughs> yeah. No, that could be it's an 80s. impossibility. No. I'm holding on to this. I was no. listening to The Clash. Yeah. Yeah. There you were. It's great. Yeah. yeah. Never no, admit to that. Never. You might be a child of the 80s uh, if your hair... Oh, this is a good one. Your hair at some point in time in the 80s became something which can only be described by the phrase... I was experimenting. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, it was huge. Girl. Dude, you sound like you're having the time of your life on the <laughs> yeah. show. Yeah. Cool. Inside, I was crying. Happy to be there. Hey, can I tell Inside you, too? I was crying. I didn't even think you were. I think you I were just abs completely nervous that you were going to blow this gig. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I wasn't I in an attic. That's fair. I was happy. I was not in an attic, so I was just like... This is the best place ever. And I was fully expecting to be back in the attic. <laughs> yeah, I've got to be honest and with you. You should have been. I know. After hearing this. Exactly. <laughs> I thought you said it's I, terrible. I, I was not even in an attic. No, no. I, I wasn't in the uh, attic. Of course he was. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, <laughs> was. <laughs> I couldn't deal with the thought that I was going to go back to knocking 10. And, and Yeah, we were extremely nervous. So it, I had to it make was a big it. afternoon drive gig. If I was laughing, everybody else we must were, have been. We were nice. a lot older than our audience. <sighs> but they weren't funny. saying funny... Th like, I wouldn't mind if you were laughing at a couple of jokes that weren't good, but you just laughed at anything that was from the 80s. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? If you remember 1983... Yeah, that was before <laughs> 84. Yes, stupid. there's no reason <laughs> to laugh. No, because they're not jokes. And the hey, other... Remember that? Yeah, I do. The That's, other thing that... It's a crutch. You guys were told was not only... Shut up, Sam. ...to not act your age, but to keep it local. Yes, yes. So yes. I hope <clears throat> that everybody's prepared for Opie, oh, no. the radio, the consummate broadcast professional, to bring in that local the angle. Local Good. angle. Local flavor. They, yeah. uh, during Just, the air checks, they used to tell us all the time, look, uh, you know, yeah, I like what you're doing. This is but you know what? you got to make it a little more local, guys. Just to remind the audience that you are... Grew up in Boston in the eighties. You're, you're <laughs> from. Did not do that. You didn't. You 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 this acted would be a surprise like for me. You were from Boston. No. Uh, no, you didn't. No. No. Uh, you brought in the local angle. I gotta hear this. Oh, oh no. My God. I was experimenting. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, it was huge. Girls' hair was huge. Oh, it was so high. They had the peacock look. Actually, uh, the 80s look hasn't left Revere yet. No. Uh, I think Revere is the only town oh. in America that still has the 80s hair. Where I've never been to Revere in my life. <laughs> yeah, someone told you that. There you go. You've I've never, never been, been there. there. Wow. No, I don't even think I've ever driven through Revere. Wow. But Revere. You're, you're from Boston even... and grew up in the 80s. I couldn't point out Revere on a map. And that was the hackiest reference oh, right. yeah, yeah, in stand-up. Yeah, yeah. so, 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 that, that was the one that you said in the Boston area. Like, oh, is this guy from Revere? <laughs> yep. All right, so someone obviously told me that. Yeah, of course. <sighs> yeah, that's the hacky. But you can end. hear it in him that the, he, there's, he has no, no idea what Revere is, <laughs> where it is. He just He's just throwing it out there. Is, is that good? It's local, like, right? Almost like someone's talking in an earpiece and he's trying to get past through levels of security. <laughs> What's the password? Uh, Revere. <laughs> Revere. Yes. Who would be the hack town? Ooh. Only town in America that still has the 80s hair working, where, where it's that peacock look. It's really high on top, but real flat. If they turn sideways, they only have like an inch of hair well, that goes all the way Yeah, they were just getting height, pure <laughs> height. And then they take a little wisp of like waterfall bangs <laughs> that would come down and like oh. like an awning. It was like a front awning. <laughs> what the hell were they thinking? That still happens in Revere. That's the sad part. The East. AF. Hey. That was great. You went back to Revere again. Yeah. But that was a table pounding. Like he said, like, yeah, it's just an inch and you I heard <laughs> <laughs> You heard that, did you? I sure did. Yeah. And Bill was right. They did good. They, they oh, we reminded everybody. Revere. Revere. Local. Massachusetts. That's gonna be great for the air check. They're gonna say, Yeah, you went local. I like that. Yeah. This is just two guys from Massachusetts who grew up in the eighties. Yep. Just relating to the other kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't be less like their listeners. Yeah. Abuse. And I like this part. AF! Hey! Hi! I'm a child of the 80s that remembers when Def Leppard's drummer had two arms. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, that could be the oh, shit. shit. Now wow. they're talking. That's some excitement. And the one thing, and here's the annoying part. <laughs> that was the funny joke that you guys don't laugh at. You go, yeah. I know. Like, that no, was, you should have laughed at that. That's his inner radio child screaming out, this is the direction I really want to go in. As he said, they go, Revere. Like, like in Revere, Revere. Oh, this oh, is oh. what this makes, reminds me of that cripple. Yeah. yeah! <laughs> You're right, though. Why can't I do that? Fuck, Bill in a way is right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I don't want think... to make fun of amputees, not talk about this crap. Uh, yeah, I don't think this. I don't actually don't. You're right, Bill. I don't think it's this bad. I don't think it's You're that breaking bad. breaking it down. Oh, it's so bad. Uh, let me go to Kyle in Boston. Kyle. <laughs> hey, as hacky as that reveal line was, it's still fucking true. There you go. It's, it's true. There it you is. Go. True doesn't make it. Yeah. There you go. Though. Yeah. There you go. I mean, the point is that you're liars, not what you're yeah, exactly. you're telling the truth. You're what? lying. You're, Why you're, are we liars, Sam? <laughs> liars. Why are we liars? <laughs> we really are. I got a question. Who came up with the idea for uh, Opie and Anthony's demented world? <laughs> and Anthony pointing to the world That's and Opie getting ready to punch it. <laughs> <laughs> And if I notice, the two of you are in that world, and you still want to destroy it. <laughs> Holy shit! Look at Anthony's ponytail. I didn't even well, see that. It's two. I have, like, one on one side, one on the other, and one on top. Ponytails. So it's, like, this big, fluffy uh, poodle head. And then you look Opie... like you're in Spyro Gyra. <laughs> Crazy, right? <laughs> like when I was a kid. And then I got rubber bands in my hair for some reason. Yeah, yeah. Opie's got, like... It was uh... the first time we ever had a makeup artist, and that's what they decided. <laughs> wow. I don't think they were. And you guys artists. were just like happy to be there. Hey, yeah, why not? Cool. Look, You're going to do our hair? It's a demented we're, world. We're doing isn't a photo it? shoot yeah. today. It's demented. It's I crazy. Was our, I think it was our first photo shoot, right? Opie, wow. get mad at the world in this one. Get mad at the world. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Okay. Why, why would we punch our world? Because that's basically what we're saying. You're this demented. Is our it's world. demented. It's like bizarro, but yeah. different. Hope nobody can tell that we're liars in this picture. <laughs> <laughs> is that what we're thinking? Yeah. I hope our fucking why does that picture say we're liars? Isn't exposed. I just hope nobody can tell that we're massive phonies. <laughs> That's why they had Anthony put his arm up so he couldn't tell he was already in his forties. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I was not. I will not take that because there was nothing about you guys that was like you didn't really look like that. Like you guys no. didn't do your hair like that normally. No. no. You aren't crazy no. wild guys. You're you probably nice too, dudes. I'm you out of my mind. Lady. Why? Wild. I'm wearing a Lollapalooza <laughs> shirt. Yeah, right. in that. Yeah. Oh God, that's. that's... <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. You're just trying because the kids would be wearing their Lollapalooza shirt. Of course they would. By the way, I had that exact same T-shirt, and I used to wear it thinking I was out of control. But yeah. I was also in eighth grade or seventh grade at the time. Who wasn't? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So were you? Now that I think about yeah, it, in Boston, right. we all fucking were children of the '80s. Right. Yeah. Yeah! yeah! That could be the best of the day! Oh. That could be the direction yeah, my know, career could go in! <laughs> That's what I want to do! Uh, Marblehead! Speaking Lemon of flash stuff. dance, remember when all the girls in the 80s thought they were cool because they'd wear the leg uh, warmers to school? Yeah. And, uh, well, oh my god! Who did ya yeah there? Was that, that was Anthony. Anthony. Did a no, yeah. but his, oh I god. did a ya, yeah, but he did his better. Yeah. Who, who, was, yeah. who was doing the horrific pothead voice right there? Me, that's what I'm trying that to was, play uh, that again. Remember when they wore the leg warmers, man? And how long had it been since you had smoked pot? Ninety. So that seven years yeah. since you had smoked pot. But you sound like yeah. Dave's yeah. not here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but years. you had your clarity at 35. <laughs> it's seven years later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too old for this. I really yeah, This is so bad. You're not from Boston. You don't smoke pot, and you weren't a child of the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> just, Sam's over there just collecting lies. The yeah. evidence. That's yeah. why you reacted to that. Oh, he's collecting arms. lies. Yeah, I didn't, at this point, I've ha I haven't had a drug in my body for 21 years. <laughs> yeah, let's hear that clip again. That, that's I a good point. I don't know how to do it, though. It's a flash oh, dance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Speaking of flash dance, remember when all the girls in the 80s thought they were cool because they'd wear the leg uh, warmers to school? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I like how he fucked it up, too. He goes, wear the leg uh, Lego, warmers. Lego yeah. warmers. <laughs> Lego <Yeah>. warmers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Revere, Marblehead, Worcester. I think we wrote down towns before we went on the air. For, 
for the first year, we were, yeah, yeah, we were I writing think shit down. I think you're right. I think towns were written down. Somebody on the oh. Opie and Anthony in 1997 Facebook page <laughs> just posted a picture of two confused old men with the caption, metaphorical picture of ONA trying to relate to their <laughs> listeners. <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't funny. <laughs> yes, it oh, is. Jesus. Uh, you might be a child of the 80s if you were excited to watch Family Ties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. is, is it nothing yeah. funny? Yeah. <laughs> Family ties. <laughs> yes, I would have to reiterate. <laughs> oh, just chiming in douche. No reason. <laughs> Almost done. It's painful. More that was that things. was towards the end of your any time, any time. <laughs> More things that happened in the eighties. Yeah. Then the phone system yeah. gets screwed up, or Opie can't get the pre-recorded call to play. <laughs> it's one or the oh, other. Shit. I can't tell. <laughs> See, uh, you say that the phone system is screwed up. But then I'm factoring in that you guys were liars, so I'm assuming that you're playing pre-taped calls, and that that is what's not working. You can't figure out how to push play. How did you just factor that in? I'm not going to admit to any lies today, Sam, but you're keeping track over there. Yeah. What are we lying about? Well, so mind? far, uh, I feel that you've lied completely about your age growing up in the 80s. Uh, you're lying about being from Boston. Uh, about what they think is funny? You're lying about what you think is funny, because those jokes weren't funny. Uh, you're lying about smoking pot. You're trying to do the voice. So so far, I've got five lying huge about lies. the kind of show that they want to be doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lying, lying that they're themselves. enjoying themselves. <laughs> I like how Bill pointed out the fucking amputee thing because you're so right. Yeah, you're like that was edgy. Was like, please, yeah, more people fuck, say more like stuff that. like that so I can do stuff like and that. And I don't know why we couldn't do it ourselves. Like just say, ah, fuck it. Well, we did finally, but at that point, go. You know what? Fuck it. We want to hear more about this demented, <laughs> fucking weird shit. I'm gonna punch Sam in the head. I like Sam listing <laughs> the lies. Now writing a list of all of our lies from. Uh, all right, what do we got on the lie list so far? Again, we're from Boston. Mm -hmm. Uh, we grew up in the 80s. <laughs> yes. We think our listeners are funny. Yes. We like doing this type of radio. <laughs> yes. It's, Everything's it's funny. Everything. Our calls aren't, aren't recorded. recorded. Good. Um, we smoke pot. Right. Yeah, yeah. That phony uh, dialogue. Uh, we don't know the mics are on. Oh, oh right. yes. There's another one. Oh, we didn't stop smoking pot. <laughs> we might get a double Seven digits years here. ago. <laughs> At this point, Jesus. <laughs> Seven years ago. The mics are off. Yeah, that's that's eight lies. Yeah, that's a lot of lies. <laughs> Fuck. All right. I gotta actually make it a smaller font so we can fit it all on one page. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also today on the show, we're doing the fun, or you might be a child of the 80s if... And we got a couple of good ones coming in here. Might be a child of the 80s if you know who shot JR. Mm, that's a good one. That is a very good one. Yes, you might be a child of, of the 80s. Yeah. What was good about it? Nothing. I had no idea why I said that, Jim. Uh, I throw myself on the mercy of you <laughs> fucking pricks. I thought another lie. Opie got this from an email as opposed to just reading <laughs> it from a yes. website. From Prep Burger. Prep Burger or something. Bitboard. I Bitboard. like how That's Anthony's was a like, big feigned excitement. He went, mmm. Mm. Yeah. Ah, not only is it a good one, it's interesting. Yeah. That's a good one. Yes, I do remember that wasn't. as a child of the 80s. Actually, that might be one of the more honest moments you have because you couldn't even sell it with a fake laugh. You're just like, mmm. You know Mm. That was English language. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. If, I don't know if people give a fuck about this, but when I was at BAB and then Ann was at BAB with me for a little while there, we were doing way edgier stuff than this. Yeah, because it was like seven at midnight. We had Boston we really had naked listened. girls being spanked, all yeah. sorts of crazy shit. And so we what you we had went naked backwards. girls being spanked? Jesus, you guys were out there. <laughs> <laughs> I, it, it was way before you know. Now every fucking show has done it, but but uh, what I'm saying is naked girls doing some pretty crazy shit, and then we took a step backwards to take this job. Oh I wow, guess. so that's even worse, huh? Because they had a lot more hands on uh, shit with us at AF than money. Than we had at that's PAB. what he's trying to say. Yeah, yeah. They had a lot more hands-on money, yeah. hands money to pay us, and uh, the creative level of the but, money but was then, uh, the this money. This is what's confusing. Money, money, money. <laughs> this is confusing even to me. We do have video of, like, Ant in a shower with fucking girls, you know, uh, yeah. showering off from debauchery that was, was happening after in the this. studio. This was before we fucking realized we got to turn thing. the ship around. <laughs>
<laughs> got to do something. <laughs> How far out to sea did you get? Very, <laughs> yeah, very, very far. far before we decided to turn around. <laughs> see if other men's come. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good one. That is a very good one. You might be it's a child of the eighties. If all skate change directions means something to you. Oh, all skate, remember that? All skate. In the skating rink. Yes. All skate couples only. You can hear our Boston accents. That is a yes. 70s reference. It I didn't really get is. that. It really is a 70s reference. What? That's roller boogie. Roller, that's 76. What? What roller skating about? rinks. Well, that's why Ant got excited and went, ooh. <laughs> ooh. Yeah. Did I? Yeah. yeah. I did. Ooh. Hey. You think they're giving themselves away with the wrong. If you remember separate water fountains. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what someone. No, somebody calls in with something racist and then Anthony goes, yeah. <laughs> that's the direction. Well, we could all agree you could hear the Boston accent, Sam. Uh, you guys aren't from Boston. You're, you you're faking it. You yeah, can you're hear the phonies. Accents, right? I'll give you credit for uh, being phonies and liars. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll add that to the list. Remember that? All skate. In the skating rink. Yeah. Was... All skate couples only. And, and then the change directions used to freak everyone out. They yeah. Would... They'd start falling and stuff, trying to hit <laughs> yeah. each other, hit each other, trying to turn around. You know what I know? You're a child of the 80s. If the at key on any keyboard just didn't mean anything. It didn't mean anything <laughs> in the 80s. Very Now good. it's very important. Yes, yeah, so you might be a child of the 80s if Please you own a pair of Anthony. rainbow... Please go back to Anthony. Why? I can't. Why? Yeah. Bill, Let us why? off the hook, Bill. Why, Bill? Why? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Let us off the hook, please. Ho, ho. Let's talk I about just you love and Jimmy Fallon. how every time I sit there and you guys are like, okay, this could be funny. You guys go right up to funny and then you fucking, you turn it back around again. We were scared. <laughs> we were scared. We were. Okay, now I can't make fun of you. You just, you just totally um, you know, admit to it. You know, Bill. We were scared. You know, the, you know, being frightened isn't a funny fucking thing, man. The uh, Opie and Anthony show from 1997 just posted, whoever's running this Facebook page just posted, Brother Mans, Brother Mans, why is everyone crashing our site? If this keeps up, we're going to have to block all posts. Chua! <laughs> Chua! <laughs> Yeah, I'll have the last laugh when I start fucking printing up Brother Man, Brother Man t-shirts. <laughs> and there's I the get uh, that joke. What Royal happened? Flush uh, cover. Look, we're playing poker say, Brother Man, Brother Man is his catchphrase. <laughs> so what's up, Brother Man? <laughs> 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 Shut up, <laughs> <laughs> He used to try to create catchphrases. You know what, I like you too much to even look at you. <laughs> after, after here, I'm embarrassed Just for you. Just let me be today. You want Brother to look, man. You want to look at the station CD we were part of? You, you love the Dementor World cover. This was called uh, Royal Flush. That's not bad. We're all just hanging around, playing poker, having a good time. That's not bad at all. You, you, that's no, they, people still do that. Where's the urinal one? Was that part of Royal Flush? It, yeah, it had to be. There's, there was an urinal. alternate. Turn it, Sam, a little bit. I can't say. Cover or something. We're all at the urinal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's yeah. just, there's nothing to say. There's really, there honestly is nothing really wrong with that. Like, how else do you get ten guys in a photo? What are you supposed to be doing? Yeah. doing you know, that looks like a uh, like a bad like rock album in the seventies. Yep. <laughs> nothing. Is it, is it as bad as that joke? Nothing. No, no. you're right. It Opie and Anthony just don't remember the seventies. Well. No, no, it was yeah. well before. Tiny little time. babies, yeah. they yeah. grew up in the yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some great acoustic performances and then real shitty comedy in between the songs. I mean, really bad. <laughs> really fucking bad. What are some of the artists on this one? Uh, Everclear, Tracy Bonham, Local H, Our Lady Peace, Cake, Mighty Ooh. Joe Plum, Ooh. and the WAAF Air Staff. <laughs> 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 The Knicks it didn't do anything in the 80s. Very now good. it's very important. Yes, you might be a child of the 80s if you owned a pair of rainbow suspenders just like Mork used to wear. <laughs> it's embarrassing. What am I fucking and one more real fast. Uh, you stomach? might be a child of the 80s. Oh, man. I actually did this one. You sat with your friends on a Friday night and dialed 867-5309 oh! to see if Jenny would answer. Oh! You did that? Opie, no. you did, did you do that? You were an adult. <laughs> I'm officially going to admit a lie. I never did that. Then why did you say you did? Add it to the list. I, but I'm officially <laughs> not going to admit that. I never did that. that why would you? Truth. Why did you tell people that you did? You wanted to be cool like <laughs> yeah. the, the cool kids did, even though you weren't a kid in the 80s? <laughs> people now are just writing, oh, he's a liar. <laughs> a huge liar. <laughs> but Ant is just as bad for enabling and just going along. I hope he knows what he's doing. I'm going to lie right along with him. Yeah. <laughs> Could you guys look at each other while you were doing this show? Oh, yeah, yeah we thought it was some great. reason, yeah. They high fived while every song was Who playing. Would...
But it, the bald face liar show. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but who would ever think that would be cool to say on the radio that yeah, man, I used to call the number. I did that. Oh boy. Oh boy. What you got to do is, I think, when you listen to this kind of a show, you got to get into their demented world. <laughs> <laughs> you mean that, Bill? Uh, Look at the long leather fucking jacket I got, though. Oh. That's cool, right? And your tucked in shirt. Yeah. I like the fact your shirt your, is tucked in. Your braided belt. Well, I know by then grunge had come in and nobody tucked their shirt. Nobody in. Did. right there. That's a nice hint. Yeah. <laughs> None of the kids are tucking their shirts. Shut but up. you're trying to relate. Yeah. What? You know what though? There's a dead giveaway in that picture. Of yeah. what? Dead giveaway that that the maybe crow's feet around your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you asshole. Do you have a wedding ring on? Yes. You do? Oh, there what it is. What the fuck? Wow. Someone yeah. fucked up. Yeah, you probably told people it was a mood ring. <laughs> That would be the seventies. They told us uh, to make. <laughs> they told us to not admit we had uh, girls. That we were available. For the wow! Ladies. What a what a prize for the girls that was. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! And we were available. Ah, oh, this is so bad. Oh, that was the unusual unusual suspect uh, cover. Yeah, because we're unusual. There it is. What? what now? I'm trying to figure out what's hanging off your pants. Is that like a uh, a, a shirt? Hat. Oh, you got your hat buttoned to your belt buckle. Because the kids are doing that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Sam cannot Jesus. get enough of this. Uh, Sam is enjoying this a little too much. Look at his head hanging from his belt buckle. <laughs> the adjustable now band. I get, now I get why. You... His... Why does it take this to make you laugh? <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Dude, you, you, you were fucking lost. <laughs> you really were with that big, stupid hat. And just, he, he's like some fucking aging ingenue. Still trying to be the flavor of the month. It's over. You're old. <laughs> it's, a it's a second album cover. His is. shirt is tucked in. Holy he's shit. like a dork. He's like Cheryl Teague in 1991. His dorky shirt is tucked into his belted jeans. <laughs> what a set of balls. <laughs> Fucking hands in the pockets and true rock star. <laughs> what a set of balls. <laughs> Holy oh. shit, Sam. These opportunities don't come up often. Oh, that's fucking that's I'm true. going for the gold. The second album comes with a shirt tucked in. <laughs> <laughs> Someone look it up. Were the kids tucking their shirts in? Oh, no. Uh, no. Dude, no. Even all the other old guys in that photo have their shirts untucked. Everyone has their hands in their pockets. Just a bunch of nerds. <laughs> Geeks. That's fucking brutal. I know that guy in the end didn't have a real name. He had a nickname, whatever his name Rocco. was. Rocco. It Rocco. was, yeah. That was no Rocco. Rockhole. <laughs> oh. You just know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's the guy that used to come on after us, nighttime. Every yeah. morning and, show has it. And see, Hillman had to be the Santa Claus. Yeah, yeah. He's standing there. Because Dave loved Hillman. Middle. He's the guy. You're going to be our leader in the photo. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hillman's been there that long? Still there. No, oh, no, yeah. yeah. Whenever I go to Boston, I go yeah. out to the show. Well, then we'll shut up right there. Yeah, I, actually, I like <laughs> that guy. I'm not, I'm not Why, did you guys have spot. bad blood? I think he's hilarious. Uh, I think he's a dick. Eh. No, you don't like him? Nope. Too much know. personal shit. What the fuck oh. is that? Honk for Hooters on a billboard? Who, Dude, who's that guy? I, I was Wait, never, who is that? I was never on a billboard. I was right? never on a billboard. Okay. I can't confirm. Who's that guy on the left? I don't know. That's you in would drag. You, would you dress up in drag? Oh, Opie? no. No, I swear to God. No. You promise. Because that looks like Anthony Look, and I, Opie in drag. No. no. Somebody fucking did something. It's no, the Opie and Anthony show. Yeah, and you're doing... There's Anthony. Honk for Hooters. It's probably... No, probably I swear to you. Like, I've done... I'll admit I've done a lot of douchey things in this business, but I've never I dressed like a that. fucking okay. woman for a promotion. It's probably photoshopped. It's probably something you've done the side of a road and somebody photoshopped it. Are we it. on a billboard at I don't remember that at all. I don't That's remember that. That's not saying that. much, though. Honking for Hooters of, is pretty nuts, though. I, I, it's crazy. I, I like how you made, like, the, the two O's and Hooters were, like, boobs. That was can, really close. Can you, can you get that um, picture and blow it up a little bit? Is that yeah. is that really me photoshopped? I don't know. I can't tell. I can't either. Look. Yeah, I, n I would not fucking dress and drag no, for a dumb radio is this for another dumb lie? radio promotion. Is this another lie? I have another story. It could, it could I, I, blow, be a blow huge that lie. Get in there. No, it's not. I swear. I'm wearing a Patriots shirt. Is that me? I, I don't think yes. that's him. I don't think that's me. Because he's got like a no, mullet. It's not, it's not pulled it's back. Not that's you guys. not him. It's not no, you guys. No. No. Okay, you told the truth for once. Um, yeah, it's not you. That's totally Anthony. That was scary. I remember we duct taped We duct taped our intern to a pole and left him there. Jesus Christ. See right there, you, you got this right up terrible. to fireworks. Uh, fireworks. You got right up to the funny. 
It was funny. I was just saying because we tied a kid to a tree and yeah, threw fireworks scary. at him. See, you had the idea. We actually duct taped him and took the ladder away, so he was just fucking hanging from a pole. And we left him there and went home. Okay, that's that funny. I remember. I hope this wild guy doesn't spray that fire extinguisher at anyone. I know. All right. I know. <laughs> Dude, you look like you're in quiet riot. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> look like a nurse. That was really I guess we're done, Sam. That's Black it. Cadillac. Look how pretty Opie was. <laughs> <laughs> now he's calling you pretty. That's a pretty intense stare, though. For... <laughs> <laughs> well, he wanted to be, because Opie wanted to be a model, so when he was taking radio pictures, he put on a model face, I think. <laughs> <Shut> <laughs> up, you You've told us you wanted to be a model. Yeah, so you tell me. I you... didn't want to be a model. You were a model. What was it about you that thought you would be a good model? I was put in um, something when I was in Rochester. <laughs> a couple things that we don't want to talk about. What? That goes back even further. No, the answer. Look at that picture. The answer is because he was delusional. No, 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 no. Let's go back to that. So, what, what were you put in? Some stuff. Did you model bell bottoms at twenty six? I modeled. Um, <laughs> I modeled um, a Coca Cola t shirt. Coca -Cola oh shit! There it is. Can we to get some sound? <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. No, please, no, 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 please, no, no, no. please. Bill hasn't Why seen it. Please. Please. To me. Because Bill's got to see it. Just want to see the Coca Cola thing. <laughs> <laughs> Phil is smiling now. Uh, wait till you hear this. All right, go back. Fuck. No, I like this because you're seeing all this shit you guys went through to get where you're there at. This is actually okay. cool. Go ahead and spin it. Get ready. Hi, I'm Opie, a starving radio personality. I need TV work. Call me. This number right here, okay? Let's check out some video tape. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he just goes. Ah. Ah. He just goes. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know there's a oh lot of rock rollers wow. out there, like Led Zeppelin, Guns N' Roses. Why don't you give us a call right now? 325-0500. If you don't, I just might have to sing. And that's going to be ugly. So give us a call. 325-0500. Gabe, back to you. Opie, thank you very much. Don't threaten us like that. We'd like Oof. to thank you. <laughs> Don't threaten us like that. Hi, I'm Opie from WCMF. <laughs> you know, it's your wow. life. But if you mess around with drugs or alcohol, it's more than just your life you're hurting. Think about your family. Pause that. Think about your friends. I was doing drugs at that point. Exactly. <laughs> so you were lying exactly. again. And you should be saying that every morning to your radio partner. Because <laughs> that was that was in the mid '80s. All you were trying to you were trying to just fill whatever role was open, yeah. whatever they would let you do on camera or on the air. You'd be that guy. So I'm telling people not to drink or do drugs. And Dude, I was your baby drinking. face really saved you, though. Yeah. As far as this lie about your age, I know. I was always, uh, I always looked younger. Than so wait, Sam, you don't think that he cared about the message? You no. think that it was just at the camera he, time? Opie had had no integrity. <laughs> <laughs> at least up until he came to New York. I probably did coke that night <laughs> after filming this PSA. You, all you wanted to do was have somebody put a camera in front of your face. There is no mm. integrity. Yeah. Whatsoever. Just lies. All right. Are you done with that? So we can mm. move on. No, there's another minute of it. You wanted to watch yeah, the rest, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. You know, it's your life, but if you mess around with drugs or alcohol, it's more than just your life you're hurting. Think about your family. Think about your friends. Coke boogers coming out of his nose. Think <laughs> WCMF and 31 care about you. Let's hear some noise in here. Come on, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> There's just little kids around you. They're like, yeah, so make some noise here. I swear they are three-year-olds. <laughs> Yeah, but dude, you, you, I can't make fun of you for this because this is this is the bullshit that you, you have, have to, to crawl through. through. Yeah. Nobody that, wants to do this gig that was, ever. That was local TV, Rochester, MDA, Telethon. Yep. That was the yeah. sound of a man hating himself. That was it right I was, there. I was hoping it would lead to something. Not many years later, still doing radio. <laughs> I, by the way, how quickly did you think you were going to make it in this business? Uh... Wow, that's a really good question. I started at 23, and I go, you know, by the time I'm like 29, 30, oh, yeah, yeah. I'll have my own show. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> <laughs> that's about Oops. right. Uh, oops. Yeah, yeah. That wasn't oops. That's 33, right. I was sleeping on a futon. <laughs> 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 Dead serious. Not because I couldn't afford a bed, just my place was so fucking small, I couldn't get one in there. It sucks. Oh, uh, yes. It really does just suck. Chasing a dream. Yeah. Folks, want to put some money in the fishbowl? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, you little fuck. Thank you very much. What could you have been saying to her? She's probably like, so how far do you live from here? And she's probably like, ah, about an hour. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, where'd you get that mullet? <laughs> Sam, uh, you're slacking. I have to help you out. Another shirt that's tucked in. 
<laughs> ah. <laughs> Why are you always tucking in your shirts? Those are the Coca Cola shirts that you were doing for some kind of a. Yeah, when I when I talk about I, I could have been a model, this is what I'm referencing, by the way. See, oh, even uh, that's not. I'm just joking about that, but some people. What are you talking about? Look at Joker that hottie you're standing next to. Huh? Look at that hottie you're yeah. standing next to. That was a. Yeah. For right. Rochester, that was like a God 10. Damn, a 10. That, that's a 10 in Rochester. Yes. I'm not even fucking. She looks lying. like a mom. <laughs> she was younger than me. <laughs> Tits are down by her waist. <laughs> nice. She's just, she's she's just looking at it. Up. <laughs> Look how low her tits are. They're terrible. I swear to you, she's in her 20s. And she's looking up at Opie like, you're the coolest. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, With a shirt tucked in. You are Stonewash jeans. Do you, think that this, do you think this is a good modeling exhibition? <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> what, I like about Aunt, Aunt, uh, what I like about Opie here is he, he clearly knows what to do with his hands. Because yeah, there's nothing yeah. more uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, Coke! Flinging him around. <laughs> are we done with this? Uh, did you want to see the rats? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I don't know. Where'd you get that spiky do? <laughs> when did you realize that men would never be a part of your life? <laughs> Gosh, she's terrible. This one. They couldn't find a like a like a, a better looking girl. A non pink. If you were a bottom in hardcore pornography, it wouldn't be as embarrassing. Well, as is that on the ladder? Yeah, it's uh. That was old. That was us. Yeah, that was us it. talking about the yeah, video, which right. is odd. It That's should have okay. just been the video. Because I don't think but... the video itself was ever posted. <clears throat> really? Um, oh, really? Or it must have been posted somewhere and gotten taken down. Yeah. Because these are all fan videos. Mm -hmm. There's no official. Mm. Whatever. If you want to know, I was up on the ladder and I had to stay there until they raised a certain amount of money. <laughs> you had to stay up on a ladder, yeah. I remember Did you that. get down during the commercial breaks? You liar. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think you stayed up there the whole time? No, as soon as the camera was off, he just climbed right down and sat down on a chair. I wasn't an asshole yet, so I probably stayed up on the ladder. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I actually did this one. You sat with your friends on a Friday night and dialed 867-5309 to see if Jenny would answer. Ah, oh, is not. Jenny there? <laughs> but why on a Friday? Why on a Friday night? Like, wouldn't uh, that be like a Tuesday? Yeah. Night? Why? Would, what would you make a night of that for? Even if she answered, who cares? Yeah, a whole fucking night, right? She'd answer. You go wouldn't ahead, you just call it once and that was it? The bit's over. Jimmy, he was adding layers to the comedy. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. On a Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, so I mean, you never did it to start with, so you wouldn't have any experience to draw from. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that when the kids what? did it? Yeah, you're trying to, because kids hang out on Friday nights, yeah. Jim. All the do. kids that are listening, I hear they hang out on Basically, Fridays now. <laughs> being a child of the 80s, you weren't right. old enough to drink yet, so you had to find some fun oh. things to do <laughs> at home. You weren't old enough to drink yet. <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> dude, one of these days, I'll show you my own, uh, my old stand. I, I, there's no, there's you have no, to. There's no way I would yeah. put it out there. It's really you, uncomfortable. You really don't have to. You don't have to put yourself through this excruciating shit. You just choose to. Yeah, why do we? I don't know why we do, but yeah. Because there's something satisfying about we shit on everybody, so it's fun to kind of uh, get shit on. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. Come yeah. forth. Yeah, been through it. <laughs> it's humiliating. <laughs> that was a good prank call in the '80s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you, you hear the uh, dead space there? That was supposed to be comedy. Oh, that was supposed to be that a, was supposed to be comedy. A phone call, right? No, no, going with Bill's thing. We were yeah. There's plenty of room for comedy jokes. Some laughter, and laughter then, and laughter and jocularity. I know what happened there. No comedy. So now I'm going to blame it on the phone. It's like, oh fuck, something's oh. going on here. But there was supposed to be comedy. I there. actually thought that was the best piece of the segment so far. <laughs> Listen, it's, it's your concept, Bill, where we got close and then said, ah, no, we can't do this. Listen, <laughs> that was a good prank call in the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> the phone system screwed up. All right. Oh, uh, the phone system wow. is screwed up. Another lie, right? It's Sam? a lie. He's, he's sitting there trying to push play and make sure the pot is up on the phone call that has been recorded. But I think it, I think it goes deeper than that. I think we had no comedy there, and then we both realized how awkward, awkward it was. So, so you panicked. Panicked and blamed it on, like, a technical problem. Dude, that just made me nervous. Like, you guys were, oh. like, up until then, you were just, you were spitballing, you are throwing stuff out. So even if it sucks... You, there's not the dreaded just dead air. silence of comedy. That was that was nerve wracking right there. But see, the other thing, this is something we saved from 1997. I think you were. We thought I this think was you were good. hitting though. I think you were you hitting think? the button. Yeah, that sounds like something a, wasn't trying going to get on. the phone. Right. Yeah. thing played. Yeah, fair enough. So maybe that's not a lie, Sam. So. 
No, yes, <laughs> the it phone is. system screwed up. Because right, the phone system is. isn't. Hey, uh, hey, I got one for you. Let's hear it. You might, you might be a child of the '80s if you remember carrying a piece of cardboard to school to break dance on. <laughs> Spinning on your head. Yeah. Oh. Good, good no addition. Deal. With the, the boombox that two people had to carry at one time. <laughs> 40 D batteries. <laughs> good job, dude. I'm so uh, happy. Uh, uh, I hate the forced jocularity. Like everybody's just having a fucking uh, yeah. party. You guys uh, both wanted to call that guy a douche because <laughs> the way he said it. He remember being a piece of cardboard. <laughs> it. Yeah, you know, would have been like too long, asshole. I was yeah. just thinking, good thing you got those phones working. You got that thing on the air. Immediately. <laughs> yeah. Immediate phones not working. Call her high. Yeah, and it's amazing that these callers have such bad jokes, but they're so good with timing on the air, making sure everything's quick yeah. nice and, and to tight, the point. Right? Yeah, nice and tight. Anthony looks seems that sounds distracted during this, like you're fucking online trading and you're just like repeating key phrases, like when a chick is yelling at you. <laughs> <laughs> fucking spin on your head. Yeah, I know. I, I know. And yeah, then we go I, into I'm so happy. No, we weren't. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> we were so confused. All right. I've had enough. Oh, there we go. We got one more clip. Uh, Be because Anthony has some new sound effects. Oh, no. Come That's on, right. man. Don't end with me. Luckily, there's a fact about <laughs> I love these. how he pulls his hat down on the radio as if anybody can see it. No, because I can't look at you. you guys. That's all right. It's We're not going to so embarrass I'm just going to stare right into your eyes, Anthony. No, please. Phil. Luckily, there's a fax about the 80s that segs into them nicely. Oh, good. So this clip, it just left me befuddled because you teased that Anthony had new sound effects to do. Then you read the fax, and then you acted as if the it sound effects organically. But you already oh, announced that you, I didn't even understand what you were going for. Uh, we're looking at 1997. That's right. To conclude Jocktober for the people just tuning in. Here's the final track, thank God. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> 107.3 WAF, the only station that really rocks. It's Opie and Anthony. Anthony's got a couple new uh, sound effects for you. In a second, though, okay? Yeah. Uh, we're doing a really cool photo today. We're doing... teasing a sound yeah, effect. Yeah. No, but Anthony yeah. going, yeah. yeah. And Obi's, yeah. Obi's relating to the listener as if he's talking right to them by saying, in a few minutes, okay? Because he's not saying, Ant, is that okay with you? He's asking the listener, okay? Oh, oh, I can't take this. By the way, the Opie Anthony yeah. show from 1997 yeah. Facebook page yeah. is in phase two. Uh, the 1997 Opie and Anthony show has closed oh. people posting on their wall. So now it's just their postings that you can post on. <laughs> uh, their latest one is, today we're asking our listeners, what makes you a child of the 80s? Just like your favorite shock jocks, Obi and Anthony. <laughs> your favorite your shock jocks, great. You weren't that's children in the 80s. That's, that's great. I was Liars. a teenager in the Thank 80s, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's joyless. Thanks oh. for you. In a second, though, okay? Yeah. Uh, we're doing a really cool phoner today. We're doing, uh, really cool. you might be a child of the 80s if. Mm. And you fill in the blank. You might be a child of the 80s mm. if you had a ringside oh, seat for Luke and Laura's wedding on General Hospital. Oh. Remember that fiasco? Yeah. Uh, you might be a child fiasco. of the 80s if you spent endless nights dreaming about being the bionic woman or Wonder Woman or the $6 million man. Got a fax here from some guys. That's Got a couple of uh, 90s. Yeah, Those are seven, all shows yes, from the, the 70s. 70s. You just don't remember. What the fuck is that about? You just, you know, that's what your lie is unraveling. <laughs> yeah. You know all the words to the Partridge family. Yeah. You think yeah. 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 Sound effects Miller. coming up in two minutes, guys. <laughs> Sound effects. <laughs> This is painful. Our lives are falling apart, Sam. <laughs> yes, because you're thinking of things that you're like, okay, well, that occurred a while ago. I mean, I wasn't a kid, uh, but I wasn't a kid in the 80s either. So you remember Evil Knievel's big jump over the Snake River Canyon. Oh, wait, he thought a Ford 75. Pinto was a safe car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Anthony, listener... you got some sound effects for that one? <laughs> <laughs> good, good, yeah. Good, good, good. Uh, yeah. At, that, <laughs> at that point, the listeners are like, what is a bionic? What, what shows are they talking exactly. about? I never yeah. watched you any on of Hogan's Heroes, you fucking liar. <laughs> F Troop. <laughs> F Troop, yes. I'm the worst. The listeners are just, are just starting to ask, 
How old are these guys? Like, what? A, what? <laughs> what is that? The bionic woman. Who thinks of her? So maybe we should have cut the the bit. <laughs> yes. Anthony was watching TV before they they ended it with going in color. <laughs> yeah. The following broadcast is you in living color, color on NBC. <laughs> you might be a child of the '80s if you remember when cigarette companies sponsored comedy hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just posted on their Facebook page. Ant's got new sound effects. Tune in soon to check out the wacky noises. <laughs> This sucks. <laughs> this hurts. Oh, this is bad. Woman or the six million dollar man. Got a fax here from some guys. Got a couple. Uh, Ninety percent of your album collection was from KTEL. <laughs> you had the 70s. Kevin Bacon whose haircut. <laughs> and Dad bought Beta instead of VHS. Oh, Ouch. yikes! Very good. Here's Ouch. another one. Uh, another fax came in. You might be a child of the '80s if you remember trying to guess the episode of The Brady Bunch from the first scene. <laughs> Hey, I 70. used to play that game. I Did you really? I never played that game. Ew. Too. Can I make an announcement? Yes. I don't think there was any facts. Because <laughs> this this is the topic that segs into Ant's sound effects. And I believe if you listen to the way you said it. Oh, and we also got one more fax in. Yeah. I believe you're lying and that there is no facts, no facts. that brings up the Brady Bunch. Because yeah. why would anybody associate the 80s with the Brady Bunch? <laughs> Yeah, the, just for the but, record, the 80s were, I mean, the oh, Brady Bunch was late 60s, early 70s. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. I believe it came late on 60s. right after the monkeys went off the air. I don't think... Dude, you guys, well, it's almost like a serial killer that wants to get caught. <laughs> You're just leaving all these fucking clues. The pressure... Of, of this fucking lie is just crashing down on you. Just... I never even thought this deeply into it, but you're making complete sense. <laughs> yes. There, there was no facts about the Brady Bunch. I officially I don't know, but Listen I know the... I didn't play that dumb Brady Bunch game. Listen to the clip, and you oh tell me, God. honestly. If you thought a Chevy Vega was a sports car. <laughs> we, were serial, just, what? we were serial killers hoping to get caught. That's perfect. There was no facts, yes. <laughs> Jesus, that's a long list of lies. <laughs> so many. Brady Bunch from the first scene. Hey, I, I used to play that game. I used to think I was the only one that did that. Me and my sister would uh, hang out and, you know, Brady Bunch would come on and, I mean, right from the, the, the shot of the house and do, 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 do. I go, oh, this one where Greg, Peter, Bobby, go. I knew exactly which one it was. <laughs> How oh. far did he go with that lie? I like how he's stammering. Me and my uh, uh, sister. I'll go with my sister. Yeah, we used to, we used to do that. And then the house would come do, do, do. Oh, I am me. woozy. I'm woozy. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to this. Uh, literally, I'm woozy. Here's what happened. Anthony had Brady Bunch sound effects to do because they're coming. <laughs> Anthony, <laughs> Anthony, he had Brady Bunch sound effects to do. So he told Opie about it, and Opie thought this was so good, we have to fit it in now. So let's just tie it into this 80s bit, even though there is no facts about it because it has nothing to do with being a child of the 80s. Nothing. Was do well, do do one of the sound effects? No, but it's close. No, I said it's the song. <laughs> Guaranteed it'll be, you know, the fucking... <laughs> it's going to be the, the keyboard. Tiki. And it's going to be the whistle. Oh, the whistle. oh Anthony, it's just, it just keeps getting uh, better. Do you think the sound effects are going to be using the slide whistle? Yes. I, 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 I bet. And there's going to be two whistles. <laughs> you know, there's two whistles. You remember it. It's starting to come back to you. Two whistles. I can't. <laughs> Nothing to do with the 80s. Yeah, see. nothing. They, I still got it. They were they were rerunning um, the Brady Bunch in the 80s. They did in the 90s and the 70s. It, it, it doesn't matter. I know, Nobody... but like Child of the 80s is like like it should have been something from the Rubik's Cube. How did that yeah, never yeah, come yeah. up? There's never. You been... know why you were too old to play with them. <laughs> There's never been anybody who associated the 1980s with the Brady Bunch ever. <laughs> I knew exactly which one it was. <laughs> Remember that one where they uh, with the UFO? Uh, the UFO, of course. Yeah, they they were faking that there was a UFO to fool Bobby, and the Air Force got involved. And, they, and I think uh, yeah, Greg had the flashlight Why? and the little whistle. It went. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's a UFO. <laughs> Wait, I thought that the, that was the sound effect when they were making believe it was a ghost. Oh no, no, that was this. <laughs> Totally different. What's the matter with you? 
That was the ghost when they wanted the house to be haunted, so they didn't sell it. Okay, that's the ghost. All right, now what's the sound effect for the UFO? <laughs> totally different. What's the matter with you? <laughs> you crazy or something? <laughs> yeah. You crazy or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am, I think. <laughs> If you want me to be this crazy, I'm This is a domestic world sweating. we're in. I'm sweating. This Anthony's is... Anthony's fake laugh is raspy. That's how you can tell. <laughs> it, it does a raspy yeah. fake laugh. Oh, yeah. Opie, after hearing that, do you think there was a fax that came in no. about the Brady Bunch? No, it was a radio segue <laughs> into something I thought might work. So you're admitting <laughs> it, it was a lie. And maybe it did work for the time. I don't even it didn't know. Work. I would say it that it didn't work. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. No. For any I time, know. it didn't work. And no. all the people no. listening no. to WAAF were like young rock kids yeah. none, n and never watched the Brady Bunch. No, yeah. of course not. Then how the fuck did we have ratings? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, at, least, at least you guys had a bit there. Like you at least you, you <laughs> drove up wow. to the bit, you went in. And we went with it. And you did it. Yeah, wow, a lot, a lot of lies. supportive laugh. <laughs> but I didn't like in that bit, by the way, when you said, "Isn't that the ghost?" and you immediately had that other whistle. There was there wasn't a fucking time for a breath, <laughs> and you had that whistle. Yes, the Jimmy. ghost whistle. I think I may have known in advance that I was going to do that. Had yeah. you guys discussed? Okay, here's how we'll come out of the '80s bit and be able to get to your Brady Bunch sound effects. <laughs> Why would anybody... That's a lie, by I, the I way. I think the conversation was a little more panicked than that. I think. Oh, we got, how we'll are we going to do that? Do that. The yeah, do that. Do that. That'll take up 90 seconds. <laughs> 90 seconds. Uh, we, I, I don't think uh, that, that was. We weren't allowed to talk more than five minutes an hour, so that was our best stuff. And by and this CD was pressed to be sent out as like this is this the a gig. Opie and Anthony show. Yeah, here's a little example. Yeah, of what we could bring little, to your market. Just a little piece. That New was taste. a demo. <laughs> yeah, no, it was. Oh. It was a show. New York. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard what's going on in Boston, but I got something to play for you. It wasn't you. officially. Uh, a demo. It was something you sent out. Though. Something we uh, thought was good, though. Oh, what didn't make? No, that I tape? never sent that out. What did? It was prepared to be sent <laughs> exactly. out. No, it was never gonna be sent out. Maybe parts of it. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Why am I even trying to defend this? Yeah, it's it was, just. Uh, what are the lies? Because that was it. So yeah. far, I've got... Uh, no, there is no so far. I mean, We're done. If the other guys can think of other lies that I missed. Is done. That was the last track, Sam. Thank uh, God. Lies. We're from Boston and have accents. We grew up in the 80s. We think our listeners are funny. We like doing this type of radio. Our calls aren't recorded during the songs. Opie didn't stop smoking pot seven years ago. We don't know when the mics are on. That's Opie the got one. the list from a listener email. Opie called 8675309. We're single. There are any problems whatsoever with the phones. There was a fax about the Brady Bunch and Opie played the Brady game. <laughs> it's not the Brady game. The Brady game. Yes, it was. I just was. knew that he did some, you it, know, fun uh... Brady Bunch sounds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. That's it. October is officially over. How did you come up with those those sound effect bits? <laughs> well, uh, Bill, if you got some time, uh, yeah, just oh, yeah, interest yeah. me. Your pro take us through your process. Well, I take things that people just normally look at as everyday items, and I'm able to turn them around into. Uh, I want the real shit. Genius. I want the real shit when you were sitting at home, in your apartment. Yeah. Did you run it by him over the phone? Do you think this is funny? No, I think I was just fiddling with the fucking toodly horn, uh, uh, the toodly whistle. Uh, in Nervous the energy during yeah. the break. Yeah. I was like, oh, this sounded like, you know, that ghost thing. And Opie's <laughs> eyes lit up and was like, we're doing that. <laughs> we're coming out of break. We're doing that. It's That's gold. right. It's gold. That's right. We're doing it. Um, it's fucking painful. We got one more thing to play for uh, to yeah. end October. Yeah. A look back. At this year's October. Thank God. So it cleansed the palate. Bill, Jimmy Fallon tonight? Yes, sir. That's fucking cool. And the podcast, which is doing very well. Yep. It's back up on iTunes. Every once in a while, every like three months, something happens. I upload something and it's the wrong format. And then they have feel the need to take the entire four years of podcast off. Why? I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I have no idea why. But uh, then I have to have a bunch of then and then what i do is i try to let other people handle it and it doesn't work because the, evidently the email has to come from me is what i've learned so basically if i would have gotten off my ass and just handled it from the first day it just would have been a three-year three-week blip instead of three weeks wow damn yeah 
Bring that was back up there. Good. That was pretty boring. People love fucking Burr's uh, <laughs> podcast. Uh, Tony Iommi is going to be he's up. here. Yes. Oh, he's here. Yes. Oh. Just got here. Okay. So uh, why don't we do this? Bill Burr on Jimmy Fallon tonight. Bill Burr on Twitter. Podcast, of course. Uh, we look back at this year's Jack Tober with this. Yeah. Got Bill Burr in studio, and uh, also Tony Iommi is making his way into the studio. Okay, legend. Fuck yeah, oh, legend! Here he comes right now, Tony. It's Tony. Hey, how are you? What's up, Tony? Doing, man? Hello. Oh, I didn't know you were here today. How are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure, <laughs> sure, sure to Jimmy. The show, man. <laughs> Bill Burr to your right, Tony. How are you? Very how funny, you? man. Nice to meet you. Nice Can't believe you. I'm sitting next to you. That's Do rock royalty. Huh? No, no, no. I, I won't make it weird. I won't make it weird. Don't worry about it. Is this your first interview of the day? Yes, it I is. I hope so. It's early. First one. First one. You're known for hating getting up in the morning. Me? No, yeah. I'll get up in the morning. I, I love it in the morning. I'll get up. Do you really? Oh, yeah. We tried to get you one time. They're like, no, he doesn't like getting up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Good excuse. <laughs> when I'm at home, I'm up at about 20 past six in the morning. That's not early for you lot, but it's early. No, for it me. is. It's early. Is it? We have to be here. Yeah. Mm. It's amazing. I, I obviously read the book. Um, I loved it. You start the book talking about, like, on the, on the first page, uh, you're working in a factory, you're going to quit, and uh, your mother says, nah, go back, finish out the day, it's the right thing to do. And can you describe the rest of the day? Because you were about to walk out. The rest of the day was awful. <laughs> um, yes, uh, I went back after lunchtime and they put me on this machine that was um, a press really that bent metal because I used to do welding electric welding and so I, I had to bend the metal myself and then weld it basically and just this one I was on it a couple of hours it was fine and then suddenly bang the thing came down on my hand as I was pushing the metal in Whoa. and it just squashed the ends of the fingers basically and as I pulled my hand back I pulled them off Oof. How much finger did you lose on, on the, because you're a lefty, so on the right hand? Yeah, well, I lost, you know, a fair bit off that, off the two middle joints. And they, they embed, they planted the nail again, put that back in. So now you, this happens, you're already playing guitar. I was playing guitar, yeah, I was playing, I was about to leave that day to turn professional with, and go to Germany with a band. And, oh my um, God, what so went through it, your head? You just went, it's all over. You oh, it, that was it. I mean, that's why I was finishing the work, and I thought, well, yeah, next week I'm off to Germany, and Ugh. it all went very wrong. You know. How long did it take for you uh, to that to heal and even to begin? Did you immediately lose hope, or were you looking down going, maybe? <laughs> no, I sort of got, that's it, you know, it finished. And, I, and, of course, I saw different doctors, and they said, oh, forget it, you know, you'll never play again. That was their attitude, not... We'll do something for you. Did you consider playing right-handed? Maybe you could <clears throat> I know, strum I never or did, anything. Funny enough, because it seemed like then I'd been playing a long time left-handed, which wasn't that long now. Right, right. But right. at the time, it seemed like you know three years seemed a long time. Wow. How, so how long was it before you picked up a guitar again? Um, I tried, even though I was banded, so it's oh, not wow. that right long. away. So yeah. I was trying to play, and I did learn to play more with me too. Sure. Outside fingers and uh, wow, that's uh, a hell of a story, a hell of a way yeah, to start a book. Like, yeah, no, just the fact he was going to quit that day. I know, no, right? Right. stick it out, <laughs> yeah, I, I just, stick it out. It's good, great. I, yeah, I just couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it after mm. all the things that my mom. Of course, my mom obviously felt really bad then because she sort of made me go back yeah. to work. Right? Well, I love your mom because without that, without that terrible mood, there'd be no Sabbath. That's the greatest thing because you would have been off with that other band. So it's it's like kind well, of great yeah. for me that that happened. Well, it, it sort of made me, <laughs> yeah, it a made me create way. a different sort of style of playing. What, what was that other band? Uh, did they ever become anyone? Uh, no, I don't think so. I never Any of the players things. even move on to other bands? I don't know. Wow. I don't know. Okay. I, I never actually stayed into I just got the job with them and yeah. I didn't really know them, you know. That well, how did it change? Like, the, like uh, what you what you did on the guitar, which kind of gave you the sound that that made Sabbath what they were. I, I just had to work on it and work on getting the the, the, the uh, height of the strings right for me. The, the gauge of the strings, of course, because there were all heavy gauge strings in them days, and I come up with an idea of light gauge strings, and um, I made my own set out of banjo strings. And I went to companies to see if they'd make them. They, they said, well, they won't work. You'll never, you'll never be able to work. Use them. And I said, well, they do. I'll, I'll use them. No, they'll never sell. 
Um, so that was all these downers as you're going on, you know. You're never going to do any good. You, that will never work, this and And I just kept going. A lot of supportive people. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, but I love, like, his generation where it's like, well, then to hell with that. I'll just make my own. Like, nobody <laughs> from my generation would just be like, forget it. Well, it I'll get a job in a cubicle. That and that would just be the <laughs> end of it. You made That's everything. True. I mean, I made my own gauge strings. I made my own thimbles to play. Because it was all said that it couldn't be done. Can you describe how, the how do you make guitar strings? Yeah. Well, I didn't make the guitar strings. Oh, that's I what made the saying. setup. I'm, oh, the uh, setup. I used oh, banjo I strings as the, the first strings. And then I used different gauges to drop down so they were lighter for me. But there was no actual, you couldn't actually go and buy a set of strings like that at that, at, in mm. those days. And you had to, what, can you describe what you had to do with the thimble so you could actually play? Um, I got a, a fairy liquid bottle. And, and mounted it down into a ball. And I got a, a soldering iron and just sort of uh, heated it up and uh, melted the inside of the ball. And then I, I so it fit over the finger. And which took a long time, you know, brought it a fit. And it was sore. And I just sat there for days just rubbing, rubbing it down to make a shape of a finger. <laughs> and then, of course, it wouldn't, I couldn't play finger. with it because it'd slip off the string. So I had to find a material that would grip the strings so I could bend them and stuff and at the end of the day it became it was leather and it was from my old 70s leather jacket that I had I cut it to bits to use the leather and I couldn't find anything else that would work so you made basically you cut you had your fingers cut off <laughs> you made your it's own fingers <laughs> like, yeah, Holy shit. yeah and, and I still use it's still the same uh, thing today I, I, I know they make them for me now but it's still the same. It's still very Heath Robinson job, you know. You still using the same jacket you said too in the book, like, or you had it for many years? Uh, the same jacket to use for the thimbles. Yeah, I've got have got a small piece left now. Cut it to bits over there. I mean, well, over the years, yeah. years. It's, wow, it's, it's lasted a, lot a long time, yeah. hasn't it? <laughs> Damn. So did, did that changed the way you actually, because the sound you came. What was it, the sound you made? Because like metal didn't exist, and it's just like that that gong or whatever. That's a terrible impression of a Sabbath sound. By the way, <laughs> I liked it. I liked yeah. it. Yeah. That was good. Gong. It was more of a fucking gong that you'd hit. <laughs> It sort of made me approach the guitar a lot differently because I had to come up with chords and come up with a way of, that would suit me uh, to create a bigger sound because um, I couldn't play the regular chords because it, it just wasn't possible. Now, you are, you guys, I was surprised to read, too. Like, I, I mean, I, I've met all of you, and you're, you're all, like, the nicest guys. I was amazed at how... Uh, violent you guys were kind of coming up um there was quite a bit of, of fighting and uh some really violent shit happened yeah it did yeah but where we were from in them days that area was fairly rough and uh, and the school we went to ozzy and myself went to the same school i don't know what that means but we did <laughs> and uh <laughs> it was really very rough you know so you uh, you took uh, martial arts i was surprised to learn that do you still practice them no, not anymore. Too old for that now. But, uh, <laughs> but no, I did it for for a while, and um, I enjoyed it at school. You know, and then when I left school, and, but when I took up guitar, it sort of dwindled off. Then, uh, of the guys in the band, who is the probably the biggest problem in a bar fight? Problem? Yeah, who's the, who? Who is the one in the in Sabbath that would fucking knock your teeth out first? Uh, well, it was usually me. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> because I, you know. Um, They'd either call for me, or, oh, we got a problem here, and I'd be, you know, but in them days, you didn't have security people and all that sort of stuff, you know. You sort of fended for yourself. Well, we couldn't afford it. You fend for yourself, really. Well, you guys were broke, too. Like, like I mean, it's like you hear about people paying their dues and, uh, you know, and fighting their way uh, through poverty, and it's like, did Bill Ward, <laughs> like, can you describe the drumsticks he used to fucking play with? Yeah, he used to... Uh... <clears throat> It's funny because we'd be playing on the show with an, another band and then Bill would be floating around afterwards picking up the broken sticks, you know, <laughs> of the other drummer because he used to use... And he got used to playing these half sticks. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I mean, oh, have, no. Yeah, Come I mean, on. We didn't have the money to buy, you know, drumsticks or anything, wow. really. So Bill sort of, again, 
got a style of playing with these little. This sticks. level of, of drive is unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. And he would just he would just stab them into his hands and duct tape them, and he would just play. And that's just what you did back then. Like the level of toughness at this from that generation is uh, your Bill, generation many, is amazing. How many times would you have quit at this point? Oh. <laughs> just, just so many. I would have felt sorry for myself at the factory. The finger thing. Yeah. I would have been out. Sorry. I would have been a secretary. <laughs> right. Made them give me a job as a secretary for life. Well, That's I mean, cool know, to Bill, hear, though. Well, certainly with his kit and stuff. I mean, it was. Yeah. We worked hard to get everything, so he would. He hate. He wouldn't let anybody play it. And there was always a case that John Bonham used to come with us because he was a friend of mine, and he used to come with us to some of the gigs. And uh, he'd say, like, "Can I have a go, Bill?" And Bill would go, "No," because Bill let him get up and play one day, and Bonham, of course, broke his, his snare. <laughs> so. It didn't go down very well at all. How fucking funny is that? Bonham can't touch my shit because he breaks it every time he plays. I heard that was like a, a thing with him when he would sit in and he would try to demolish the kit, like when it was when it was over. Well, yeah, well he wouldn't demolish. It, it was just that he was a heavy drummer and like a real mean drummer, Bonham, and uh, so it didn't last in bands very long up until Zeppelin. Did you know he was going to make it the first time you saw him play? Uh. Not really, no. But it was just such a. It, 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 the bands he would be in would be in. He'd be in a band for probably two weeks, and then he'd get fired because he was too loud. <laughs> so that's um, great. yeah, Jeez. up until Zeppelin, that's, uh, that's the good the old time days. he really kept a job along. <laughs> right, and that was another thing where you'd think he'd be like, "Well, I keep getting fired. Maybe I should lighten it up a little bit." And he's <laughs> no. just like, "Nah, the hell with this. This but is the, what I do until the, I find people who get it." The great thing was he used to have the, the, the drum case, and he'd have the name of the latest band on his drum case, and it was getting smaller and smaller because he was <laughs> it, it, he couldn't fit them all in. <laughs> and they crossed out the next <laughs> last one. He wanted, you know. <laughs> and you remained friends with him through and up until the, he, he passed away. Yeah. He was the best man at your wedding. Yeah, yeah, he was. I mean, he's a good mate. We used to go out and clubs and. You know, most of the time I'd end up driving because he would get paralytic. And I'd, I'd be on the way, but, you know. <laughs> on the way. Yeah. <laughs> did he encourage you to drink the night before your wedding, or did he think that sobriety was probably the oh, best? Dear. Did he encourage me? Well, as I said in the book, he, we um, we went out, just the two of us, and a, and a driver, thank goodness. And we went to different clubs, and we went to this last club about, I don't know, 10 to 2 in the morning. And it was clo closed at two. And Bonham goes in and he goes to the barman, 12 bottles of champagne, all open. He went, yes, sir. So he had 12 glasses there and 12 <laughs> bottles all, all filled up. And he went, go on. I went, what? He said, go on. Drink them. I went, I'm not going to drink them. He says, you've, you've got to drink them. I've had them open now. I said, I can't. I said, oh, if I drink all them, what, I'm, I'm going to get married tomorrow. What's going to happen? And he went, Ugh. and he went down and just drank the lot. And within, <laughs> oh my God. Within, within half an hour, he was just paralytic. And, and of course, we, we had to take him home then. <laughs> and his wife wouldn't let him in when we got home. She said, he's not coming in like that. <laughs> Please. She's shouting out the window, he's not coming in. Please let him in. You know, uh, I'm getting married in the morning. He's got to be there. Well, he's not coming in. And eventually, please let him in. So she came down. He can come in, but he's not coming to bed. He's going to sleep down there. So we put him up against the, the, the radiator in the hallway. Like this. <laughs> and, and, Drop him up. Yeah. And I said, you're not going to make it tomorrow, are you? He went, Ooh, put his thumb up, you know. I went, oh, OK. And sure enough, the next morning, he was bright and breezy. I mean, he lived probably 30 miles from me. And he, I saw him coming up the drive, and I just got up. Me. And he's all dressed up and coming up the drive. He just sort wow. of he got that recovery rate. He could be fine. It's one of those guys that could yeah. fucking function That's the next envy. day. Yeah. I envy yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't feel too good, but he, he was fine. <laughs> How many times have you been married? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. um, three times. Four times. It's the fourth. This is your fourth? Wow. I've given up now. Yeah, this is the last one. <laughs> <last time. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Damn, four times. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Like after one time or two times, you figure that'd be the end of it. But you said, "Fuck it," and you went for a couple. Yeah, of... yeah. What was it like that, that the moment in that third one where you're like, "Oh no, not this again. This is just going <laughs> down." I thought I had this figured out. Yeah, I, saw, I, I, I got I got a complex, and it must be me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't really. After three times, you got to be like, "All right, maybe yeah. I need to." Uh, 
Maybe I got just some things. Yeah. <laughs> what was their biggest complaint about you? From who? From like the, the wives. What was like? The, what was the women's biggest complaint? Well, certainly the problem from my first marriage, and, and that was great, really, that marriage. But I was never there. I was always on tour or in the studio. And what sort of got up her back was when she saw when when I was in the studio mixing the album, and everybody had gone away on holiday. And she'd come, well, everybody else has gone on a holiday with the wives, and you're in the studio. I oh, know. I mean, that was, I couldn't, Some, what could I say? Someone had to do it. But isn't it amazing <laughs> how get it fucking done? women, they just, it, it's like, <laughs> even the, the fuck, it's Sabbath, and they complain. There's no making them fucking happy, honestly. Uh, they they want to live in the great big houses, but what you got to do to get the great big houses, they fucking complain about it. You'd have made me. a great wife. I never would have complained if I was married to you, ever. <laughs> I just want to listen to your oh, music. I and I'll marry you. <laughs> Please, I wouldn't want anything in the divorce if you signed records. I'm fucking uh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, you must be thinking that at some point. Was there complaining? Just be like, does she realize that it takes a little bit of work to keep eighty thousand people happy a night? You know. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. But the thing is, when she sees everybody else going away on holiday, it looks like, oh, well, he didn't want to take me away. Mm. Oh. I suppose that's what it was. You know. It's that competitive um, thing. They all do it. They all make it about themselves. It's, what they, it's just what women do. <laughs> they do. They have to be a victim. They can't go over there. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> they got to somehow it. turn no around. But I, I love how Jim, Jimmy's making me so, so feel like I'm liberal when yeah. it comes to this. Yeah. This is great. Go, Jimmy. Go. No, but Tony understands. It's, 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 it's the way it is. It's like, you know, this great life you provide for somebody, and they get pissed off at the way you have to provide it. Yeah. Do I mean, you well, have to uh, remix every night? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And by the way, speaking of remixing, the biggest hit I think Sabbath commercially had was, would be Paranoid, I guess. Um, at least the one that got the most airplay. Yeah. And, and how, what was that? That must have been a couple of months to put that song together. Paranoid? Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. A couple of days. What, the, the whole al album? No, just the song. No, a couple of minutes. <laughs> uh, to do that, to, to, to that, that actual track took, you know, probably three and a half minutes, four minutes, as long as it is, really. Um, we didn't really, uh, I just put the idea down, everybody came back from lunch, I was in the studio and they, uh, I said, I've got this riff, because we needed a filler for the album. They said, we need one more song. That was song. the filler? Filler. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. We need one more oh, song and it needs God. to be probably three minutes. I mean, we'd never done a three minute song, you know, we were always like seven minutes and eight sure. minutes. Oh, God. So I just put this idea, played this riff and when everybody got back from the pub or wherever they'd been, um, <clears throat> I said, well, I got this idea, and let's try and put it down, and, and that's what we did. And did did they react to it like that's oh, awesome? They liked it, yeah, oh, they, they did. Liked okay, it, yeah. I thought that's oh, kind of catchy. But well, also, like... they probably liked it because we didn't have anything else, and, and we had to have one more song. And I... it, it's ironic, really, that that was the quickest thing to do, and that's the one that sort of probably got more airplays than anything ever. Yeah. I heard that song uh, on the subway platform yesterday on the flute. Paranoid on the flute. <laughs> Swear to God. I'm just weird flute. that Tony's here today. An old lady. You didn't notice me. With a, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> old lady just playing Paranoid on the flute. Do you know the great part would be if he went down and got her and sued her? You know? yeah. <laughs> she was making money off your song yesterday, oh, Tony. If you want a reporter. Uh. <laughs> she did a very good job, and then she went into uh, uh, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star after yeah, that. Yeah, that's not what it was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, And I have to ask, too, because uh, it's everyone, there's, there's no. all this... <laughs> I was just going to ask if we could hang out later. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is the same. <laughs> no. Uh, everybody wants to know. There's all this news leaked about Sabbath has been talking. They haven't been talking. Can you just tell us or tell me, even if it's whispering, where where is Sabbath status right now? Whisper it. All right. Um, well, you know, we're all on talking terms. And we all, Ozzy and myself have been talking for a long time anyway. And, um, and of course, geese. But um, it, it's, it's coming on. We'll see what happens. We, you know, you can never say never. It's, it's going to happen. It's not going to happen. Because all, all the times that people think, oh, it's going to happen, it's going to happen, and it doesn't, then it's a, it's, it's a letdown. So I, I really don't know. It's, let's hope, you know. But you're, you're open for the idea of possibly doing some new material with the, yeah. with the guys. I'm open for, you know, it, it, it'd be nice to, uh, to do something with the... The old lineup. What happened to the six songs? You guys did six songs, like, uh, what was it, like, I want to say 98 or 97 or 99? Yeah. I mean, I could just name every fucking just year. Keep going. I'll, I'll hit the nail on the head if I name 20. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> sold them. Just be so I love that Jimmy does that. But I just caught myself. I'm like, was it 94, 95, 97? Stop me when I hit it. 
What a terrible interviewer. <laughs> yeah, well, we <laughs> <laughs> I'm a it true well, asshole. Yeah. Oh, God, man. We did do those, uh, we did do those songs, and, uh, but they sort of just, like a lot of things, get put in the box and... You go back to them another 20 years' time, I suppose. But you still have them, so if, if you wanted to do new material, you still wouldn't have, have to... them, but uh, I don't think uh, we'd use them. Oh, you wouldn't use them? I, I wouldn't think. I, I don't know. I don't know. Does Ozzy really have no shoes? Because he, he said that in interviews, I had no shoes on my feet, and you described, he said that he would just walk around barefoot. He did walk around barefoot. He, he didn't have a... None of us had a lot of anything, and the one particular time we were going on tour, when we were going to tour of Europe, and... Uh, we went round to pick Ozzy up in the van because I used to drive, and and uh, he came out with a, a one of those wire coat hangers with a, a t-shirt on and a pair of jeans. And I said, well, "Is that it?" <laughs> he says, "Yeah." I said, "Well, we're going away for six or seven weeks." <laughs> he went, "I know." And oh, well, I don't know. And that was it. And, 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 and he only wouldn't. He, 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 quite often, not, he, he only wouldn't have shoes or. He'd, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to plug the book too. Oh, it's, uh, Tony's been promoting the book. And I mean, I'm an, obviously I'm a Sabbath fanatic, but I, I, the book really? you're not a Sabbath fan. I know. I try to keep that under my hat. <laughs> you really do. You do well. Yeah. Once in a while, I try to be fair. Um, uh, it's called uh, obviously Tony Iommi, Iron Man: My Journey Through Heaven and Hell with Black Sabbath, and uh, it's a real biography. It's a it's a you know like a 370 page biography. It's I I. I Thought I knew everything about Sabbath, but there's a tremendous amount of things that I learned. Um, and to me, the most shocking stuff was all the fucking fighting. Mm. Um, I'm going to give a couple of plugs for the signings, too. The book ends in Ridgewood, New Jersey. Tomorrow night, which I think is when the book comes out, from 6 to 8 p.m., that's the independent store in Ridgewood. Book review in Huntington, Long Island, Ooh. which is uh, 7 o'clock on Wednesday. And you can stop yeah, off at F.H. Riley's and have a snack. <laughs> St. Vita's my Bar. restaurant out there. Yeah, this is a restaurant. <laughs> we'll, we'll take care of it if you want to know. <laughs> St. Vita's Bar in Greenpoint from 3 to 4 p.m. on Thursday in the Barnes & Noble in Tribeca here in the city. 6 o'clock on Thursday. So Tony is doing two on the Thursday. You know, uh, you know, I love going through the pictures. I, I need to know just a little bit about the rocking Chevrolets from 1964. Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't know. <laughs> Well, obviously, uh, extremely different than uh, what you did with Sabbath. Well, it was rock and roll then, sort of thing. Was that, it like that, um, um, yeah. rockabilly? What kind of? No, what? no. Uh, more sort of Ch Chuck Berry type. Chuck Berry, stuff, okay. Yeah. Wow, That's so weird. Blues That's based kind of. Hey, I, I, yeah. the, question, the question I wanted to ask was: after you you, you had your accident at the f the factory, okay? So now you're saying you can't make you know the chords the way you could. Did that change who your influences were as a guitar player, or did you just? Yeah, it's uh, that's where I first got to hear of uh, Django Reinhardt, because he had you know he had problems of course with his mm -hmm. two fingers, and so that sort of really inspired me to to hear his stuff and hear him play and how good he was. That's a, uh, that still blows me away. It's yeah. incredible yeah. that I, the, the amount of people that would have stopped. You know, there's another thing you could have brought up to one of your ex-wives. You know, you mean this didn't stop me? Your yeah. bitching is going to stop me? Yeah. Shut up and enjoy the ride. Yeah. How many tickets could you sell at a ground round? Are you serious right now? It, it, is, it is amazing. Yeah. Go, so, go tell that to all your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> to, have, to have to make your own, especially like... Make your own finger? Make your, especially that just on, amazes me. What's this called? The hand that you do this with? And I'm making... Fret the, hand. the fret hand? Mm. The other hand, it would have been a little bit easier, right? Or at least less inconvenient. Oh, yeah, absolutely. If it had been the other hand, it would have been, well, I couldn't say no problem, but it would have, uh, wouldn't have stopped me from, I would have been able to play the uh, usual way. Yeah, the, the other way hands uh, a little more of the business end. Just the fact that you yeah. can't you can't feel the string now. There's that's something crazy. else in between there, and you're still able to come up with that. It's just, that's unbelievable. It, it is. It's, it's weird because you really can't feel any string. You just have to do it by ear, bending the string, and... Uh, and hopefully it doesn't go boing and slip off, you know, yeah. because it's oh, God, you're relying on the leather to, to grip it. You, know. you don't even realize that, yeah, that so much of it is feel, you know, the feel of the string under your finger. Um, that's so odd to be able to do that and not have any sensation no, of what's going on under there. Yeah. Absolutely not. You have a trouble, like, uh, grabbing someone else's guitar and playing it because of oh, the I string can't. thickness and yeah, how it's set up? I've never been. That's the thing as well, being left-handed, it, it, it's always... Oh, well, uh, yeah, that too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, not it everybody makes it has very a lefty awkward. guitar. Yeah. And if I've been into a music shop, there might be one left-handed guitar there. Or Isn't something. that the worst? 
They they never have. They'll have like one, and it's not even a good level one. Yeah. It'd be like one of those Mexican fenders for like 40 bucks. <laughs> we got one here in the back. <laughs> have you ever been to uh, Southpaw Guitars in uh, um, um, Houston, Texas? It's basically the guitar center for left-handed guitar players. I don't know. I don't so. it's, mm. it's insane. They got everything. Uh, Les what? Paul's uh, I don't SGs. Know. Yeah, what's that? I don't want any now. Yeah, <laughs> it was then I wanted them. Now you get them thrown at you. you know, yeah, yeah, of we, course. You think you have to why did I just say this? Like he has to go out. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Go out there. They, uh, <laughs> Left-handed. I'm an idiot. See, see, I beat you, Jimmy. I asked a dumber question. Tell him where you got a left guitar. guitar. Flying at him, yeah. right? But at least you didn't name forty guitar stores like I did with the fucking years. At least you quit at one. I just wanted to know that I knew something. Hey, and, and uh, the, the, you, uh, Sabbath, you quit Sabbath before they really became Sabbath and joined Jethro Tull um, very briefly. Yeah. And uh, can you talk about the, the, Rocky, uh, the, uh, the Rolling Stone circus, which you were in? Which a lot of, which was this classic thing with the Stone I love that thing. And, oh, and Tony it's plays so in that. so weird. It was very it's weird. It's really strange. for me because I, when I went with Jethro Tull and, and uh, it was a period then I said to Ian, uh, I wasn't going to stay. I was going to go back with the other, with with, with, uh, with Sabbath, really. And he said, "Would you just do the? We're doing this film. Would you just do that with us?" And I said, "Well, okay." He said, "Because we won't be able to find anybody in between." And so I said, yeah, "Okay." And it, what an experience that was, you know. With, it, just so people uh, know, it was the Stones. Lennon was part of it. The Who. Uh, Jethro Tull, Tony, Clapton. obviously, Clapton, and uh, was it, it wasn't Hendrix, it was... Uh, it was Mitch Mitchell. Mitch, right, yeah. okay. Yeah, I mean, there was virtually everybody and it looked then. Like the, it, was, uh, it looked like the whole audience was tripping. <laughs> they may have been oh, in days. And they were in like, uh, <laughs> I haven't seen it in a while, but like uh, Rain Slickers or something. It was, it was, it's a it's bizarre weird. thing. And then Yoko Ono, uh, she blew the whole thing. Oh, that was really strange. Yeah, I mean, she, <laughs> right, she sort right. of she just started well, Lennon's feet was, all the time. It was almost Warbling. like the first super group. You guys are all jamming, and then she gets up to the mic and starts doing her dumb cat noises. <laughs> you couldn't have liked that, Tony. Pardon? He's going to be a gentleman. He's going to be a gentleman. You heard me? Tony, you heard me? Tony references it in the book. And he does? Yeah. And it's, it's like, it, what is she doing? It's man? not it's a glowing the... review. Okay, good. <laughs> good, good. Because, I mean, as a, as a music fan, you're like, this is a... This is never going to happen again. And then she steps up to the mic. Did I ever show you guys that YouTube video where it's Lennon and uh, Chuck Berry playing yeah. on TV and, and Yoko's there? And they're doing one, I think one of Chuck's old songs. So Chuck's killing it. Lennon's psyched that he's there. And then in the middle of the song, Yoko just goes, walks up to the mic. No, she had a mic on her bongos. She turned the oh. mic up to her face oh. and just goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You see Chuck Berry makes his, his eyes just go wide. Like, it's just one of those deals. Like, it's not my place to tell her to shut the fuck up. <laughs> but, but shut the fuck <laughs> up. Yes. <laughs> Lennon must have been scared of her because you're with all your peers and you allow that to happen. It was awful. Well, I mean, well besides that, the rock and roll circus is an amazing thing. He didn't seem that bothered, to be honest. I mean, they seem so much in another world. You know? Yeah. Yeah, he might have been. Sometimes you get caught up in something and you think that your chick is better than she really is or, or higher than she is or whatever whatever the situation is. So he might have just thought, like, it was great what yeah, she was doing. It was rough. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've seen it's not good. You didn't look at the people's faces? Well, I saw all the rest wonderful. of the musicians and, and it was, oh, my God. Oh, they were all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. But you know, who's going to say anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the understatement of the. Oh my god! And Jimmy talks about it in the book, right? Yeah, oh yeah, and and it's uh, that'll sell some he, books. He's right not there. as kind in the book. Good, good. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he's very nice. He's being very nice now, but uh, you, you can tell just by the way it's written. It's, were, uh, <laughs> uh, were you responsible for any of the Jethro Tull songs, or it, it was so brief? Uh, there was one song that I just done a riff on, which was uh, "Nothing Is Easy." Okay. When they were writing that, but um, that was it. We'd have gone after that. Okay. When you did, you guys write "Fairies Wear Boots." Was that uh, th there was a, a fight you had uh, with a bunch of skinheads, a really violent altercation? Did you uh, write "Fairies with Wear Boots" based on that? Um, no, I don't think it was that. Uh, Geezer wrote all the lyrics, of course, on that. So, he, I mean, he had a wild, weird imagination of uh, things, depending on what he'd smoked the day before. Uh, but um, Other days. He, he, he could have possibly done it from that, but I think it was more from uh, a vision he saw when we were in Germany once, uh, somebody leaping across the snow, and he just... 
He, he used to come up with these funny, funny sort of titles and funny. Uh, Got a weird sense of humor, really. Good. Is that where the, why did the skinheads attack you? Because that was a because you you said at one point I handed Ozzy a hammer, and they went outside and Ozzy was no, smashing. No, he, he, I, I didn't he grab hand one. Him. He grabbed the hammer. Yeah. Uh, what, what happened was he's a, we did there wasn't mobile phones in them days, or there wasn't even a phone in the building where we played. So Giza went out to phone our management at that time to find out if we were collecting cash or what what it was after the gig. And as he was in the phone box. Outside, uh, the load of skinners just surrounded the phone box, and of course, it you know they were going to get him. And when he came out, they sort of whacked him, and and he ran, and he came in to us, and uh, he said, "Oh, you know, told us about all these lot outside." So rather than stay inside and be safe, Ozzy grabs a hammer. Well, we had, awesome. to, we had to go out. We had to get out because <laughs> oh, okay. we leave the buildings, and they're all outside waiting. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there was no option, really. So we went out, and he just grabbed the hammer, and um, thank God he did, really, because, I mean, there was, there was a lot of them. There weren't just, like, half a dozen. There was, like, probably 40 of them. Wow, man, yeah. And um, One man with a hammer, that'll, that'll make a lot of people leave. Well, yeah. it, it made a few people uncomfortable, I know that. But uh, sort of one, somebody grabbed me, uh, grabbed him around the neck, and he, he went buying with the chlorine <laughs> <laughs> back on the red. Oh, dear. But just so Ozzy hitting somebody with the claw end of a hammer, it's like I can't picture it. I just oh, I pictured it. <laughs> you think that guy brags about it now? See the scar? Yeah. Let Dude, me tell you a little story. I've wondered that. Like, do those skinheads right. ever, like, in three years ago, oh, my God, that was fucking Black Sabbath we had a fight yeah. with. Just got to go with a hammer by book. Ozzy. <laughs> You'd, you'd get hit by a hammer by Ozzy, right? I, I, any of the guys could hit me with anything they wanted to. Tony's wearing a cross. I hope he fucking sticks at my eye. I'll take it. <laughs> He's not joking, Tony. He's not joking. <laughs> I'm always interested, too, by, uh, by like, rock feuds or people that have these weird things that we don't get to see. And you said that Bonham came, uh, uh, John Bonham came to one of your, your shows in 1980, with, and this is with the, with the Ronnie James Dio lineup. And him, him and Dio had uh, some kind of words. Um, well, yeah, it wasn't. It was, yeah, that's some kind of word. Um, we, we, <coughs> John came to the gig uh, when we played at Hammersmith in London, and we were going to go out after the show to a, a, a bar. Anyway, John's drinking away on the side of the stage, drinking Guinness, and um, we came off stage. And as we walked walked past John, John said to me. Oh man, he's got a he's got a great voice for a midget, and, <laughs> and of course Ronnie heard it, and he didn't mean it sort of like that. He meant he, he actually meant that he, what a little buddy, and he got a big voice. But the way he said it, and of course Ronnie popped up, and he I won't repeat what he said, <clears throat> and they were going to fight. I mean, he, he, I mean, he's, he I'll, I'll repeat what he said. Ronnie walked up to him and said, "You fucking cunt." <laughs> 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 and uh, Dio said that to John uh, <laughs> So basically, I had to uh, get him out there. Get him, I said, "Look, just just go, and I'll I'll see you later. Just get out." And you've uh, you've rented quite a bit. This was uh, I, I, there's like a weird thing with you and the supernatural. And my one of my favorite story in the book. There's going to be no point. I mean, this book it have told everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm still going to read it though. That, I oh, want no, to no. yeah, all believe the me, There's a lot more than I'm. I can't I'm wait giving. to get into this now, especially because of Jimmy. Th there's so many interesting things in it. Like, yeah. and uh, th there's a great. Uh, Chapter where you are, or a piece, and the chapters, by the way, what I love, they're very short, like literally two and three page chapters. So, like any subject, you're just hitting boom, 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 and it moves. The book moves very, very quickly. I love when you can knock out a chapter quickly, dude. And you read six chapters, just knock you're it like, out. Oh, I'll go one more chapter, it's two pages. Well, and you can read 32 four pages chapters. left in this chapter, damn it. Then you get to the pictures, and you're like, oh, there's five pages down. Yeah, and yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just the way you do it when you're trying to finish like a, a book. Job. Hey, how, come, how come if you have all these great stories about uh, John Bonham, they're all hilarious and like in full, I'm a John Bonham freak. Why, whenever they do one of those retrospectives, why don't they have, you would think if the guy was the best man at your wedding, that they would assume that you kind of knew him and <laughs> that you would be able to add uh, to the story. Like, I know the BBC just did one with uh, Dave Grohl was, uh, was was narrating it. How come, did they ever ask you to do those types of things? No, I don't think so. No, I've done a couple of things on, on John, you know, of course, when he uh, just 
uh, little stories, but no, no nothing uh, big TV thing, no. Yeah, because it was like two of the best stories. Oh my God. I've, yeah, I've yeah. heard. And then it's hilarious. Like, yeah, and with like all the different names. I yeah. got to ask one drummer geek question that drummers are going to want. How the hell did he, was his bass drum foot that fast? Did you ever see him? Did he play with his toe? Was did it I ever see him? <laughs> I mean, did you ever like stand, like rather than like, you know, when, when you're out in front of a drummer, you can't see what their bass drum foot is doing. Was he heel up, heel down? I I don't know because I used to, <laughs> I used to sort of see him from... Uh, Mystery. I, I used to go to gigs with him when he was with another band before Zeppelin called The Way of Life. And... God, they used to play at some right dumps, and there's all again, <laughs> and again there was always fights every time. You know, in them days, there was always a fight there for some reason. And this one place they played at, there was it broke out into a horrendous fight. But I always remember Bonham; he had his, he had all these pints of beer all around his kit, and he'd be, you know, drinking them and, and playing. And, but he was just really a just a special drummer. Really, mm. no, I just. An incredible drummer, and his sound was unreal. That's back in spring. He came right through the 70s. Remember, he started muting their drums, and he was still, once again, just focused. <laughs> yeah. just doing it my way, go fuck well, yourself. Well, he used to try this. different things. I remember he, he tried uh, he tried getting a drum sound in, in a big truck. He, he set up the, his kit in a, in a, inside a big tr truck for the, the ambience. <laughs> of a truck. And, uh, yeah. The ambience of a truck. Yeah. And, um, oh, for like when like recording, he tried, tried yeah, to Yeah, he wanted sound. to try to see what it sounded like. Because it sounded like shit. I don't think he used it. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, I'm not going to give all the stories away. There's a couple I will, because we're, we're almost oh God, finished dude. on the Opie and Anthony show. There's There's a, stories here's the stories I will not tell. The time you almost killed Bill Ward. Uh, the time you set Bill Which Ward one? on fire. <laughs> and uh, the knife fight <laughs> that Geezer Butler almost had with Malcolm Young of ACDC in a bar. The bar fight uh, where somebody got shot in the mouth. Oh there's a lot of things I am not going to tell the story. There's a lot just of them there. <laughs> oh no, but there's lead ups and there's happenings and there's yeah, so yeah. much stuff. Yeah. To that these... supernatural thing got my interest. What were we going to ask? Well, there was a, a car accident. Uh, I was going to talk about the rented house, but I won't talk about that. That's a, a there's that's a, stories. Is there's what a, it's a very fucking that creepy story about renting a house um, where you were hearing things. But what happened? There was a car accident you had, um, which I thought was pretty interesting. Where you uh, did you not go off a, a embankment or something? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I was. Uh, <clears throat> Driving, it was a convertible, and I was driving along on the outside lane, just overtaking somebody. And it was a girl accident. I'm looking, <laughs> and um, suddenly they bang, bang, and, and the tires just blew. I must have gone over something, and it just pulled the car off. And I went flying off. <sighs> there was a huge drop at the side of the um, of the road of this like a freeway type thing, and I came off that and went through the trees and. So it saw the panels of the of the uh, wings come off the the car. Um, you know, I thought that's it, you know. Bang, it's a tree. And but but what do you want to hear about seeing angels? Yeah, yeah, it was really peculiar. I saw three, and it, I saw these three figures, um, and I wasn't drugged or anything like that. It was uh, <laughs> it was a real uh, um, strange feeling. And then, then the car then the car tipped up upside down, and I was knocked out. But. But yeah, I did see that. And there's a lot of stories of, of supernatural things. And the way they're told, I, and I, I'm really skeptical about that stuff, but the way you describe, whether it's you or Bill or you and Geezer, seeing this stuff in these different places you were ta recording, I, I find it very believable because it's the way people talk to each other. It's, it's the way people see something together. Um, so it actually, I find that to be a really interesting aspect of the book. Yeah, yeah. And I normally wouldn't. I mean, some people <laughs> go, oh, you know, they've they had too many drugs or too many drinks or whatever. But... It, it, it wasn't the case, you know, all the things, and the other guys would see the same thing, so it's, uh, yeah, it's quite interesting. Well, I guess, I mean, I could, I'm talking to Tony uh, for another half hour on my Boneyard show, which will air tomorrow, but uh, what, what can you say about the book? It's amazing, and I genuinely loved it. There's a million great stories in it, and um, it's called Iron Man, My Journey Through Heaven and Hell with Black Sabbath, and tomorrow it comes out. And the signings are at bookends in Ridgewood, uh, 6 to 8 p.m. Book review in Huntington is on Wednesday at 7, right next to Opie's Restaurant. St. Vitus, uh, Vitus Bar in Greenpoint, uh, 3 to 4 p.m. on Thursday. Barnes and Noble in Tribeca at 6 o'clock on Thursday. So, you know, which is, yeah, what can man. I say? You just, you know, you changed my life. This Thank was, you. Oh, good. was that awesome. good or bad? <laughs> yeah, no, it was good. <laughs> Believe me, I would like trannies anyway. That had nothing to do with that. <laughs> really, really good.
good interview. Yeah, we love you, man. And uh, and, and Bill Burr, just quickly, is going to be on Fallon tonight. So yeah, kind of pales in comparison with well, John Bonham really. and legendary rock star. <laughs> no, but it doesn't. You have something cool to tell Tony right now. You just you, Tony can go. Oh, I'll watch you later. It's like two two guys who both have great careers going, and I, I took the night off so I can fucking. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing nothing tonight, boy. I don't know. I was hoping you might have nothing to do and go, Jim. Do you want to eat? I'm like, ah, whatever. Oh, well, okay. Around. If you ask. <laughs> Tony, I owe me a pleasure, obviously, and I think we're done. We are done for the day. We're back Thanks tomorrow. Much. All right. Chop, Indeed. chop. Thanks. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. Seriously.